I've started to watch other streamers, and whenever they start their their streams, they've always like they've got like ten minutes of intro, and they haven't actually started the stream until that ten minutes is up. So they start like ages ahead. Meanwhile, I start like thirty seconds ahead. I start talking right away. I leave it in the VOD, and the only way you know when I actually start the stream is when I count down at exactly 8.33, 2, 1! Hello everybody, welcome to the stream, it is the Bandaz stream today on this fine 13th of May 2024. Oh my gosh, sniffles. I hope you're having a wonderful week, and we'll have a wonderful week ahead of you. Uh, uh, I was gonna say chaotic week. It's not chaotic, it's just, man, you know, I booked everything for May, I guess. Everything's happening in May. So... Uh, but yeah, no, I hope things are going well in your life. I hope you've done cool things, and if you haven't done cool things, I hope this week is going to have cool things come on. Let's get to the game, shall we? Look at that, nice and cool. Uh, we're playing more Dragon Quest 2. But this will probably be, and very likely will be, the end of Dragon Quest 2. Uh... Well, <laughs> no more Dragon Quest 2, it is illegal at this point on. Um... But yeah, the, like, what I'm expecting is, uh, the stream will basically be, well, it will be the end of the game. We're right at the end of the, the, you know, the area as well. And the last stream finally wandered through, uh, the, the wonderful cave that leads up to the, the final promised land. All those places I've forgotten about. And we sort of sat up here a bit, but the enemies here give you really good, uh, experience. And you can also, hold on, I've got the audio turned down, uh, do, do, do. That one's on me. I had the audio turned down. Apologies. <laughs> um, but uh, but yeah, no, uh, we wandered up to these this final <laughs> promised forgotten land. I don't know, and uh, yeah, the enemies kicked my butt real hard, uh, especially this this encounter right here. But fortunately, Ox got the wonderful firebane, which does the job pretty well, but you do have to be very reactionary. And they still kind of get you as well. And they also cast Explode it back, and that's just like, you see, like, Art's lost, like, almost all of his health already in one turn. This keeps happening a fair bit. And also, wow. Yeah, okay, cool. I'm glad I... I <laughs> I'm back in the throw, and it's like, yep. Everything just... Still misses a ton. Alex Nan is fairly fast, so it's not as much a problem, but it is still a problem. Uh, but yeah, this will basically be a uh, keep taking shots at the final boss, maybe? Yep, that goes on. That's another experience for him. Um, we'll take some shots at the final boss, but uh, it's gonna be uh, a crapshoot still. It's, it's still gonna be a bit of a weird one. Is he cast to explode it three times in this fight? Like, he doesn't- he doesn't let down, so... Uh... But, oh my goodness, wow. First- first encounter back after the week. And it's just like, yep, everyone dies. It, it is partially because... Uh, everyone... Copped it right off the bat. And I was missing some critical shots at the beginning, but man! Man! I did not expect to just go, yep, first fight, kick my butt. Um, so yeah, uh, main character's got about 150,000 experience. Uh, my gut feeling was really, level 30 would sort of be okay, but this might be like, maybe need to get into like, 35, I don't know, we'll see. There's plenty of time to stream to do that though, ever, because, I mean, you know, that encounter gave me like 2,000 experience. Um, even though this guy's only gonna give, like, 500, it's like, well, he's done, and... You know, that's all, that's all good. I mean, it costs, you know, like, a couple of kill mores. Be good. I could've just wandered back to the guy as well to... ...heal at this rate, because I'm really not going anywhere, but still. And it's weird as well, because... ...the castle doesn't have as strong enemies. Like, this is a, you know, this is a encounter and a half. But, yeah. Uh, oh, punch the mic. Um, so yeah, it's the middle of May. Uh, I mean, what, how many, I guess we only got four May streams, but... I always treat it in terms of months, even though really, you know, the game is done when the game is done. I'm not like going, ah, yes, you know, like time everything so perfectly. I, I do sometimes, not at the moment. <laughs> this is just, hey, you know, I'm playing Dragon Quest 
Dragon Quest 2. We'll see how long it goes for. Um, but yeah, no, I, th I feel like the world has gotten a little crazier in the past week. Uh, and that's not like a, a, a statement about the world's social status. <laughs> like, I'm not making any broad sweeping sentence, it's more just like, uh, the, the people who I usually follow, it's like, man, they've been kind of antagonized, uh, passive, like, as in, people have done dirty to them first, um, and it's weird, because I guess, like, you know, there's, a, there's always a very, like, odd kind of cult of personality that goes on with the internet, and that, that always happens, um, but, oh man, I really want Arta to just have, like, more health. It's just like, he just cops it. He cops it so much. I don't know what's going on. Is it just because he's the middle guy? Hey, at least we're on a roll with this one. We're on a roll with this one. We're all good. There you go. Some, finally some good experience. Um, but, yeah, like, I've noticed a bunch of the creators that I follow, um, had, uh, had, yeah, it's just like, oh, you know, like, uh, <laughs> if I say one of them got cancelled from a panel, I'm pretty sure that highlights exactly the person. Um, but, I, I mean, yeah, it's just like, bro, like, all, all I want out of the internet is for the anti to be turned down a bit. For the, for, you know, like, let's not, like, go at each other's throats. Because a lot of us do have the grounds to improve. On, and I know it's like, oh, just improve yourself. Like, that's a bit of a generic response. But, like, what I mean is that, like, when a lot of the things I'm seeing are mostly because a person is upset, or they don't like how something has happened, or they don't like how someone's talked, to, uh, or how someone's talking to people. Not even, like, everyone, but just, like, people. And, um, uh,. I should be casting Exploded more often, shouldn't I? Um... And it always culminates into this kind of like... My side, your side. It's like, who do you back? Are you part of this community? And it's like... I don't even like... Consider myself part of like, any community. Because one, I don't interact with really anyone, so I'm... I'm a bit of a weirdo. I'm just like, I have to watch some content I like. I've been doing Let's Plays for ages, and it's like, yeah, I don't really interact with like, any of these people. Like, I've sent messages, at times, um, yeah, that's about it. I might have, like, got some people on, like, a Discord or a, a like, friend circle once? I don't know, like, I'm not friends with anyone who's, like, got, like, an actual... Actually, no, sorry. I take that back. There's, <laughs> there's a couple of people who I have met. But they're not, like, in the same scenes as me, or they do, like, they do stream, but it's like, yeah, they're about, like, my size. Maybe a little more. I know some people who are a little bigger than me, um, and, uh, and, and begrudgingly some of them got famous after me. I was doing stuff the whole time and they became famous. I'm envious of them. But, I don't know. <laughs> I don't do stuff that's, like, crazy marketable, so I don't know. Um... But like, yeah, really all I want, and, uh, you know, at the end is like, people enjoy the content they like, and if you get bored, one, you know, tell your creator that, like, you know, the content is not really what you liked from them in the past, and, because sometimes, you know, they naturally change their style, and it's not as good. And that, that, that happens with everyone, it's fine, and it's normal. Just, in the same breath, like, it's not the end of the world to get that kind of criticism. It's like, just calm down the ante. Literally, all I'm saying is, I used to... I, I enjoyed your previous content more. Or even, I enjoy your previous content more. I, like, the enjoyment of the previous content is still the same. Like, that kind of stuff. Uh, so, we get into this whole, then, you know, this is a market, which is, like, a very weird way of, like, having a having to phrase it, because it's just like, oh, this should just be like, well, I guess TV channels competed against each other. But it's like, I, I just make content because I think the stuff that I am saying is like, uh, sometimes informative and maybe fun, and I'm playing a fun game and I can provide fun commentary on that game, even if I haven't really been saying much about Dragon Quest 2 
in quite a bit. This has been mostly uh, the inner, not the inner, the outer monologue. I always get very worried about this defeat spell because just occasionally it's just like it hits and you're like, oh, okay. That's the end of my run because it's not like you can freely revive people. There's a part of me that really wants to transfer the the, the water cape to art, but then it's like, well, you know, mana will be in the same sitting duck position. It's just not a not a fun position to be in. And and since Nana is the faster one, she probably should yeah. And she heals. She probably shouldn't be the one who's dying. But it does mean that like art's kinda caught between two worlds, cause uh He simultaneously can't like heal and he can't do as much damage consistently as my main guy, so. Mm. Um but yeah, uh, the internet is definitely a competitive place. I feel like uh, I'm seeing a lot of... It, it didn't happen a ton in the Let's Play space. It was there a little bit. And I feel like it's there in every, every kind of click on the internet. But in particular, I'm seeing it quite a fair bit in the VTuber community where like some people are insanely vitriolic. Insanely, like... They really want to, like knock out the big competition in some kind of backwards thinking way of like getting their own like I guess brand pushed in it's like man that's a bit of a like I mean sometimes I don't even realize they're doing that as well so I feel kind of bad for the people who somehow end up doing it and they don't even realize it's like yeah no like you're you're just like knocking people down like that's all you're doing right now you're just telling people off on twitter for making kinds of content that's apparently upsetting i'm like bro like like just you know make content you like and if you want you the person are free to go i don't like this guy's content i don't want to watch this guy's content um that's not to say that that person does a bad job ultimately at the at the end of the day if you feel like your content is, or like someone's content is for you, you watch it, if not, no. There's people I, I, I'm i still subscribed to, and I'm like, ah, I just kind of waned out of them, I just feel like, you know, I, <laughs> their humor's a bit lost on me, or whatever, like, it's fine, it happens, it's, it's natural, just, you know, it's not a big, like, it's, it's only a big deal in the, like, you know, it's, that's just the end of you watching this person, there's nothing more than that. Uh, but yeah, oh boy, it's, it's, it's sort of a, a battlefield on, on, uh, on Twitter at times. I, again, I will, I will, <laughs> I'll, I'll do a plug, shameless plug, I, I primarily use the Fetty, and some people, you know, some people are so upset about certain people on the Fetty, but like, on the Fetty it's like, it's not like a, a battle. You're not like going, ah, yes, you know, like, this person said doo-doo thing about me, Therefore, it's like, nah, like, usually no one's, like, sending stuff towards anyone. Uh, we get to use the, uh, the evil statue again. Oh, not the evil statue, the, uh, the Rubuschum. Do not be fooled. Oh, I should have used the in. Hold on, I can still do that, can't I? Yeah. <laughs> I just love, I just love the random in that always works. Very nice. Sorry, uh, illusion. Um, <laughs> you will be gone from my eyes. All right, let's take another crack at uh, going through the through the the sludge. Bloom, bloom. It's the evil statue here. That's what it was. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, so, uh, we've got three mini-bosses to, uh, in this place. I've already dealt with two of them, so you're gonna see me just wander right past where all these mini-bosses would normally lie. Um, oh. And we're still gonna have to deal with the enemies, but, like, these are, like, easier enemies that anyone can deal with. Are these equipped? It makes it look like none of it's equipped, but, like, I swear... Yeah, I swear this is equipped. Like, we got, like, the... The light sword. 
progressive is good, mind what the light sword does. I've forgotten again. Um, but yeah, I don't know. That's such a blanket statement, because I feel like it's mostly, like, call out. I feel like, oh, you know, this person said stupid thing. Because it's like, I don't really want to hold real, you know, people's feet to the fire that much. I'm really not that kind of, like, guy. I don't know. I don't really know how people do it. It's like, you know, uh, th there's people out there and they cover drama, like, all the time. And I, like, it's, I'm not saying what they're doing is a bad thing, but I'm just like, man, you know, like... I can't deal with it with the drama all the time, so... All I want is uh, for, you know, good games from game studios that make good games, and for the game companies to forever, um, you know, flourish with good game companies. Uh, this comes at the fun news of uh, sometime a few days ago. Uh, Xbox Game Studios in particular, it's like, it's it, in the same way as like, you know, I had to interchangeably use PlayStation and Sony, because it's like, well, it was technically the PlayStation company within Sony, it's like, oh, okay. Um, this is technically Xbox Game Studios within Microsoft, and I, granted, I guess it's easier because Microsoft, well, I don't know, in the same way that Microsoft makes Windows, Sony makes TVs and Xperia Play tablets? Do they still do that? Sony Ericsson. He's got the defense. Or rather, I have the lack of defense. I still like how this guy was, like, a boss. Because he's not too bad if you, yeah, if you're doing it okay. It still gives an alright amount of experience, so. Very nice. Um. But, uh, yeah, no, Xbox Game Studios. Oh, this is gonna be pain. Do I, I I'll deal with the Magus. I actually kind of want to deal with the Magus first. Even though that means I'm gonna miss the Metal Bubbles. Nice. We'll just, we'll just miss him. Just suddenly, conversation stops the moment I see Metal Slimes. Because there's a possibility I might get him. Even though I'm not attacking first. Oh, that's, that's just a bit cruel. Time for a shot. Or we're just gonna, it's gonna run away immediately. Oh no, okay. Still rocking. We've done one damage. We've done two damage. We've done three damage. He's still in. He's still in. We've got a shot. We've done four damage. We did it! We did it, boys! We got a metal bubble slime! Look at that! <laughs> that is like, that's just... It's not really a free level, because we're sort of at that point now, where it's like, eh, it's gonna die. But it's like, oh, it's such a good feeling. It's such a good feeling. I don't care that I took, you know, a bit of, bit of heat. It's worth it. It's so good. It's such a good feeling. Um... I hope, I hope I play more Dragon Quest, because uh, the metal slimes are a bit easier, but the sensation is still always great. It's still always good to <laughs> defeat one of those metal slimes. There you go. Um, so anyways, Xbox Team Studios shut down four different game studios, uh, the most noteworthy of which was Tango Studios, which, closed, well, which worked on Hi-Fi Rush, which was the critically acclaimed uh, game from last year. It won a ton of game awards. There were several articles saying that, hey, yeah, they're exceeding expectations in both, um, like, the critical response and sales. And yet, eh, it closed the studio down. I do get that this, this is tough times. I just feel like... Is that how? I don't know. We gotta defeat Zarlox. Here we go. I think I took a crack at this guy and I got fairly decently through, but not at all enough. Uh, let's do an increase, because an increase will always be good. And, uh... We can do a defense at the same time. No, it's not defense. <laughs> it's not affected, so it really doesn't matter. And he's just gonna cast Explode it, which also doesn't really matter. But, uh... Yeah, the Gigantis only attack, like, once a turn, whereas at least, like... This is 
a certain way a little bit, isn't it? Uh, I might as well just attack and just heal, I guess. Ah, see, this is where it starts getting contentious. So, I mean, your main character's just gonna attack all the time, because it's like, what else can he do? And this just means, I don't know, you can play, like, ultra-defensive if you want. Is he just gonna cast Exploder every turn? Maybe? Oh no, that's a regular all attack. That's a regular all two attacks, but that's still okay. Maybe he's out of Exploder. Who knows? Um, on top of that, they closed uh, Arcane Austin. This is not Arcane Lion. I believe it's Lion. Um, who uh, made Dishonored. This is Arcane Austin, who made Redfall, along with a, a sister studio that worked on Redfall, but, um... Uh... Yeah, that's the one catch for this guy. It's like, uh, you're hitting him and uh, it just heals faster. It's probably not too bad, like, heal all probably isn't, like... too much healing, but... It's a bit... It's a bit of healing, so... Oh, let's go for oh, oh, that's bad news, bears. Ironically, this fight would be slightly like more straightforward if Art was dead, but uh, I really don't have anything that's like great other than if I also tried to heal Art, and I, I don't know. I'm of the opinion that like people are going in weird orders. I guess he's okay for the moment. But he is healing. He is healing awkwardly fast. This is actually like maybe a filter fight. Oh, but we did get a crit. We did get a crit. 122 damage is a, definitely a good chunk. Still not dead yet though. Still not down for the count. I feel like him healing every turn is definitely like... That's just, that's just polarizing right there. Polarizing? Is that the word I'm going for? I really want to cast, like, defense on him and just, like, actually drain it. But he's, he's just never affected by it. I just need the main character to get a crit, that's really the, the push, because every time he's... I feel like he's getting to lower health. He's just, ah oh, yes, let me, let me heal all, you're welcome. Can I sleep on him? This <laughs> is not working out. Uh. Mm, you know, just keep hitting him. Uh. He isn't healing right now, though. This might be the shot. This might be the the big break. The big lucky break. I don't know. Um, hey, there we go. There you go. So that's three mini bosses. We can wander straight to the end, the end boss now. Uh, which I I will do because uh, okay, I guess. Uh, we got this is the floor that kills you. Uh, we could do some heal more. Yeah, I was like, people really need to heal more. It's like, yeah, sure. Uh, so step guard. Okay, we've got. What is this floor? It's actually not that bad, it's just wander around a little bit here. And then, uh, here we are! This is the final boss! He's just here! We'll take a crack at him, but I'm clearly gonna die. Maybe. Who's that? Who dares to interrupt me and my sacred prayers? Insolent fool, you dare to disturb me! The almighty Hargon? And you can say nah. Then you shall remember this! I am Hargon, the mighty messenger of divine power! And he fights you anyways. Really doesn't matter. This is Hargon! Can you tell he's the final boss? No. He spews fire, he's, he's, he's the Redbird, he's very angry. Um, he's actually got a lot more health in this version than the original version. It was like, surprisingly low, it was like 230, which meant that would have probably killed him. Uh, it's fortunately double that in this game. And he heals himself natural, but he doesn't really hit that hard. 
I don't think he's really that mean. Uh, obviously, you can you can tell this is going somewhere, but um, I mean that's a that's the joy of your two phase boss fights. It's got explode at, so mm, it's always a bit cruel. Explode that's just yeah, it's just icky. Dude, if I if I actually manage to deck like the final boss somehow, somehow, um, <laughs> I'm gonna be very very shocked. I tell ya. Um, but it's it's probably not gonna happen because man, it's barely got any health or any magic. I know technically I've got the uh, the rings, but I'm just gonna do it as naturally as it comes to me, I guess. Should be nearly done with this guy. Arts melee is just. Mm, it's okay, but it's not great. It's not as good as, like, actually just using, like, you know, bolts. He really likes his exploded, doesn't he? Oh, there's another. You're very dead crit. Yeah, there you go. Uh, he doesn't give you any experience, though. <laughs> Blast it! I hargon full to the likes of you, but my downfall changes nothing. The world cannot be saved. Lord Saido, the master of chaos, I offer you myself a sacrifice. Blech. There you go, he's dead. But take one more step. And beware, the final boss, Saido, or as he's more better known, uh, Malroth! He is, yeah, he's the final boss, can you tell? The music amped up on this one. Uh, he's gonna kick my butt, but he is, uh, yeah, no, okay. <laughs> he's gonna kick my butt! That's exactly what's gonna happen. Um, he's, a, uh, he's an interesting one, cause, uh, oh, whoops. That right, yeah, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. How could you die? I saw what happened there. That was like no chance. Wow, that was that was a very very no chance. But I did kill a metal bubble slime on the way, so I'd say worthwhile. Uh, yep. Yeah, so this is gonna be grindy while I talky kind of stream, and then eventually I'm gonna throw myself at that boss after my numbers are a little bit better, and you'll just see dramatically. Oh wow, look at that. You're so good. I know, right? I'm just so good. Um, so do I have my, uh, my Malroth tab open? I don't have my Malroth tab open, very odd. Um, because I do want to really talk about how he is rather different between the original version and, uh, this version. Hopefully as well I can take out these guys just a tad bit easier. He's still gonna take a ton of damage, <laughs> he's never gonna let that down. Um, so in the original version of the game he had 250 health. Uh, but his defense was insanely high, like, you would barely deal that much damage to him. And, um, he had, uh, like, just a general, like, I hit everyone on the field kind of ability, which is what he's got here, although this one's a bit meaner as well, and, uh, full heal, and that's it. A very, very grindy final boss. It's, it, it was, it's, it's kind of just nuts how, like, oh, I'm just gonna die, no, again. Um, it's kind of nuts how, like, Hargon himself, I mean, Hargon himself still kind of spams, um, you know, healing a ton as well, which is not very kind, but. Uh, oops, I wandered too far. Um, but it's like, imagine the actual final boss, and the only thing he can really do is, like, keep healing himself all the time and do like awkward damage so fortunately in this version he cannot heal himself at all unfortunately they gave him seven times more health so he's at 1750 health uh, and he also can uh, cast defense and increase so for melee damage you gotta deal all over the place uh, and yeah of course he can sometimes just slap you as well um, but he does have a little bit less defense as well, so you do deal a little more damage than you used to. 
does that make it a ton better? I don't know, but... I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what's going on. Also, he's not Im immune to sleeping. There is a small chance you can actually make him sleep. Oh, he also used to, like, dodge attacks kind of easily in the original. So, again, fortunately, you can make him sleep and you can reduce his, uh, his defense. You can't reduce Hargon's defense, apparently. I've just checked that up. That's apparently a no-go. But, uh, you yeah, know, get more experience and... After a few, <laughs> a few dozen encounters and maybe we'll get there. I know there's the chance to get the, the metal slimes inside, so maybe we'll, we'll give that a, a run later. <coughs> I mean, they could appear out of here if they wanted to, so... Anyway, let me get back to my point. So they closed down Tango, they closed down uh, Arcane, they closed down two smaller studios that were mostly uh, assisting, I believe. I don't think um, any of them uh, actually... Ah! Just had to get Nana with that. That's just. Ugh. Um, I believe one of them was exclusively made to assist on Redfall, so uh, the pedigree is not there. Obviously, you know, Redfall was, you know, in the same way as we're talking about um, Hi-Fi Rush being a critical and commercial success. Redfall was the opposite of both. It was critically very, very like lackluster. Um, I love how, like, in game journalism, like, 6 out of 10 is your death now. It's like, wow, your game got 60% of it right. That's what I, I don't know, I'm interpreting the score like that. I don't re <laughs> different reviewers of different things, different metrics that they go by. But it's like, you got that much good, not worth it. Meanwhile, like, I know, I know Rotten Tomatoes is not, like, at all the same metric at all. But it's like, you'll see films and it's like 0% or, like, 11%. And at least, you know, the scale is kind of there. <laughs> at least there's, like, a very bad area. Um, but, like, with game journalism, it's like, man, 6 out of 10 is where you gotta go in order to get that. Uh, but, uh, yeah, also on top of that, people didn't buy it. And uh, I, I can't fully explain why people didn't buy Redfall. Um... I think there's a part of me that's like, Arcane is a little bit mm, hit and miss with like how how they market things, because a lot of Arcane's games feel very similar. Even both sides of Arcane sort of feel like the same kind of just studio, which is a very curious like, I guess thing, I guess. I don't know, to me it's like that. It's like Prey 2017, um, which by the way, that's Arcane Austin, so rip. The one, the one game I played, and I'm like, man, this is actually, like, a good one. This is a good one. And, uh, the studio is taken away from me. That does, of course, that, you know, that doesn't mean that, you know, the game developers can't, you know, work anywhere. Um, you know, it, it's possible they literally make their own studio. And now, hey, look, you know, it's most of the same guys. On top of that, the same guys could make sl uh, flops, or they could make successes. The people who made Redfall are not doomed to always make bad games, and the people who made Prey 2017 aren't always destined to make, you know, in incredible experiences that, you know, I guess it's, it's kind of like System Shock. I don't know, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it, it was good. Um, oh, 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 what the no? You gotta be kidding me! <laughs> ah! <laughs> You can't keep money at all in this game. There's only one thing that I can do, which is to buy the hat. That's the only thing I could do. So, because I've got a devil sword. I've got two other devils. Oh, I've got double armor, but... True, and a double tail. Uh, let me see, where's the hat? <laughs> Where can I get the hat? Yeah, the hat's 20,000. I should be able to afford that. Because, I mean, it's really only a little bit more defense, but I don't know. I think it, I think Art actually does need it. Let me check this up. Mysterious hat. Where are we looking this up? We're going to... Mysterious hat. Where is it in Dragon Quest 2? Yeah, drop by and 
They feature a madcap obtainable found in the cave. Hello, Fetty, how's it going? Uh, apparently, uh, the Tyranodactyls, Pazuzu, and Hargon himself drops the hat. Uh, the Pazuzus are, uh, not the ones that we're fighting. Um, where are they at? They're at, um... Oh, they're in the hole at the end. Yeah. <laughs> Today it's very hot. Well, it's a hot one. That's the line from, um... Uh, from a... <laughs> Rob Thomas Santana Supernatural 2000 Grammy Award winning song uh, off the multi smooth off the multi platinum. <laughs> That's that song. Something something Midday Sun. Good old Midday Sun. I don't know why this one this one page I saw had a price for the um for the mysterious hat, implying that I could buy it. But I'm of the opinion actually that I don't think. You can buy it. You get the one from the chest, and then you gotta hope that you maybe get another one as a drop. Um, and the other one is, yeah, the Tyranodactyls, which I uh, guess where they're at. They're in the cave. I'm not going to that cave anymore. They did lie to me. A lot of these um, uh, guides and whatever, a lot of them do kind of lie. They say the wrong things, and you're like, eh. How dare you say the wrong things? It's weird as well, it's like some of these are just like the wiki, like... How can wikis be wrong? But... Happens all the time, I guess. Uh, okay, let's get rid of this blizzard because, you know, they made Overwatch and then got rid of Overwatch. I'll never forgive them. And then, uh, yeah, we just do the, we just do the grind. We just do the, 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 the rising grind. Also, I guess no one's going to be dropping anything, because, uh, I have no inventory space. So, there is a bit of that. Uh, but yeah, no, so, they, uh, they closed down, um, all these studios. Uh, I guess, you know, the biggest reason is probably, uh, all these studios... I mean, these aren't the big money-making studios of Microsoft, which then made me go, okay, well, what is Microsoft's money-making strategy? Um, my gut feeling is Halo definitely is their golden goose. You don't want to upset Halo. Um, Forza, maybe? Forza seems all right. Forza Horizon makes a ton of money because they charge a ton for extra cars and things like that, but, you know, I can understand that one. Um... Halo's been- yeah, oh, it's been dead, like, yeah, I- I fully agree, um, as a franchise, I feel like not a soul- <laughs> yeah, yeah, I saw that, it's like, they got, like, a couple more cosmetics for the battle passes, and it's like, man, this is not, like, what battle passes are for. The- the king of the battle pass, Fortnite, ironically, it's like, it's like, Fortnite gets it. Fortnite is like, hey, we're gonna, like, move things around, we're gonna introduce some, like, exclusive- Like, the whole game is an event. Like, it's not like, oh, this is the game mode, and then here's, like, you know, your exclusive event mode, and maybe- Maybe some games start to go, oh, that's too much effort, so they don't do events all the time. It's like, no, Fortnite is always an event. It, the map is the only thing, and it changes entirely. Well, not entirely, that's a- that's strange. But, like, they change the map entirely when they do the major seasons, the major chapters as they refer to, and the big seasons, it's like, oh, you know, like, I remember I played one time in, like, chapter one. I think it was chapter one still. And it was just like, here's planes. And that blew my mind. And here's, here's Thanos Infinity Gauntlet. <laughs> Some guy gets to be Thanos. Um, like, there's a lot of, there's a lot of instances of, like, they can change things up in that. Um, I, I don't feel like Halo's doing any of that, and I don't think Halo should do that, but it's also... People still play the Master Chief Collection. Why? Because... Uh, I guess the games are good. They got, like, good stuff going with them. And they're not bound to, like, a very silly monetization model, I guess. They aren't doing any Oh, they're doing nothing? Yeah. I would personally say as well, the franchise kind of died around, like, Halo 5. I mean, that's obviously, like, the big one, because it's like, Hi, we released a Halo game without any split-screen multiplayer. 
That's a shocking move, especially like right after releasing the Master Chief Collection. It's like, oh my gosh. So. Uh, Halo Infinite also didn't have split screen, but Halo 5 in 2015 didn't have any as well. So, it was a... Uh, it was a shocking, like, just like, oh, okay. Um... But I'm trying to think, like, what other things does Microsoft have that make money? Y you know what the other one is? Sea of Thieves. That weirdly has picked up a ton of revenue out of, like, nowhere. Its original release was, like, uh... How would I call it? Lukewarm? I don't think people really hated it, but it was like, eh, it's a game. It's... it's a game. That's it. And now it's like, I think it's got a fair bit of traction. Way more than it used to have. It's kind of like the No Man's Sky of... I guess No Man's Sky had Sony's blessing, and this is, uh, the only thing Rare has done since Nuts and Bolts. Didn't they, like, lend the Conker name for Project Spark for that hot moment? And then, uh... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, also, I guess, um, like, yeah, like, I'm trying to think, are there any other Xbox Game Studio titles? of recent times. I can't really think of any. There's nothing that's been like that big. I know Hi-Fi Rush has obviously been one, and that's, that's how, you know, like, oh, and now it's gone. Kind of thing, but, uh, Age of Empires 2, I, true, Age of Empires 2 Remastered. Not to be confused with Age of Empires 2 Remastered. It's just, it's just funny they did it twice. Also, I guess Age of Empires 4 was like a while ago, and they got just, like, some other ones, like they own Obsidian. Um, and Obsidian have done like two RPGs in like, at least the 2020s. Um, so there's a bit of, uh, there's, there's at least some releases, but I don't think any of them are like, they're not the Golden Gooses, they're not, they're not Forza, they're not Halo. Impressive resume, I know, right, yeah. Um, uh, on top of that, though, I guess Microsoft does own uh, ZeniMax, so Bethesda, uh, id Software. Do that, I, I then go, huh, id Software hasn't made a game since Doom Eternal. Like, that makes me a bit sad, really, on the inside, because, like, you know, they, they could do some crazy stuff. I, ironically, I think machine games are actually, like, flexing, because since Doom Eternal, uh, machine games have done the absolutely incredible uh, bonus episodes for Quake and Quake 2's remasters, and I feel like that's actually, like, an insanely good thing, and they barely charge anything for it, and it was free for anyone who owned those on Steam anyways. Actually, I think if, if you owned it on GOG, did you get it for free? I think you probably did. Like... That's a, that's a cool thing. Good on you, Machine Games. You're doing well. But, uh, in terms of money-making, no. And id, you know, have done what Bethesda has made Starfield the past 10 years. Yeah. Oh, I guess Fallout 4. It was 2015. Counts, I guess. Um, I got Fallout 76, which is, um, uh, collabed by, um, I forgot the name of the team, but there's a division of Bethesda that's strictly for the Elder Scrolls Online, and they did some co-work for Fallout 76. The Elder Scrolls Online might actually be making, like, a fair bit of money. I, I need to look into that a bit more, but, ah... Uh, it might be doing alright, I guess? It doesn't look like it's slowing down. They do release a, a fairly sizable amount of expansions for that game, so... Um... So I guess that's going alright. Um... But yeah, like, Starfield, I feel like, is... Uh, too much of a nosedive. They obviously spent a lot of money on these games, and, uh, sort of from Oblivion and Skyrim's pedigree, and Fallout 3, uh, Fallout 3's pedigree, they get a lot of long-term sales, but this is a, man, that's a, that's a sizable hit I just took, isn't it? I love how I just keep missing, so... Oh my gosh, what a worthless turn. What an absolutely worthless turn. <laughs> oh no. This is, this is 
absolutely atrocious. Oh. Uh, but yeah, the, um, the, like, I feel like Starfield did sell well at launch, but that's also, like, a phenomenon I cannot explain, which is how on earth, to this day, do people just buy into the new Bethesda game? There's a part of me that goes, Skyrim was the death knell for any imitators because it made the imitators highly aware that they just were not that good. <laughs> or not, not that they weren't that good, someone could probably find like a very good like, um, Elder Scrolls alter alternative. Um, but certainly like, when Oblivion came out, there was like tons of Oblivion uh, imitators and things like that, but none of them were better than Oblivion, and then when Skyrim came out, Skyrim just took the world by storm. I still personally am like, man, I do like kind of some of Oblivion systems, but every Bethesda game is somewhat jank in some ways, so who knows. Um, but, uh, like, yeah, I, I feel like that just meant, oh, look, we can release, you know, like, Skyrim again, and Skyrim again, and Skyrim again, which I know is a bit of a meme, but like, you know what I mean? Where it's like, Skyrim itself, continue- I should not- I should probably heal, because I feel like Mana's about to pop it before I take out this guy. Yeah, he's- Oh no, no sorry, that's me. Sorry, that's me. It's all good. Oh, we're good! We're good! There we go. Very nice. By the way, there it is, but- Holy crap! There it is! We finally got it! <laughs> Only this much grinding before you can finally revive people. It's so insanely late. It's, 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 I can't explain it, and this is probably my biggest gripe with Dragon Quest 2, is um, the amount of content is a bit more than the first game, but the playtime is definitely kind of stretched out to try and deal with it. It's better late than never, I guess, yeah. But you do, like, you do really have to play, like, a ton of... Well, not a ton, but, like, you have to grind out a fair bit at this point because... Uh, much like PS2 elf hashing, that is true. That is true. This is a long story for, for anyone who's looking at this going like... Oh. <laughs> it's a very, very long story. It's ta a tale older than time. Um... But yeah, other than that, is is Zenimax itself publishing any, like, gold? I can't think of anything else that they're publishing, because... I mean, obviously Redfall was kind of a big one, and that didn't do well, and... The Commander Keen game that got announced in 2018, uh, clearly never happened. And, uh, we have not seen anything from id in a long while. You know, Wolfenstein and... And, uh, Doom are just chilling there, and they've just sort of forgotten that Quake Champions is technically still in early access? Did that ever get fully released? That was like writing the success of Overwatch, and we know what happened to Overwatch, so... Oh wait, hold on, technically Microsoft owns Overwatch! Man, Microsoft, just some weird acquisitions, like I know that was the trend, but... What a, what a, a very odd thing. I mean, you know, someone might go, oh, you know, like, the, some of the worth is not necessarily the increased revenue, but the decreased revenue of all your competitors, because effectively they're not competitors anymore, which is, hi, ah, yes, ding, 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 where was the anti-competition lawsuits, if that's the case. But, uh, yeah, I, I like, very wary of the industry because effectively it's like, you know, these studios get eaten up and then the big higher-ups go, hi yes, your studio doesn't make enough money or we're shrinking or whatever and um, even if, you know, anyone can make a new company, there's just this displacement, there's just this idea of like you were working on something and now you're just like, ah yes, you're not working on anything anymore, uh, all, the, I, all the IPs that you work so hard to create are now owned by these big conglomerates that are never gonna make another, you know, they're never gonna make another Star Fox. They're never, well, granted though, that, that never left anywhere. Um, they're never gonna make another, um, 
like, conquers Bad Fur Day. They're gonna just project spark it up. They're never gonna make another Viva Pinata. They're never gonna make another, like, uh, what's another one that I love? Project Gotham Racing? Hi, they're chilling on that IP. It's just, like, there's a part of me that's like, man, I die on the inside a little bit knowing that there were these really cool ideas, and I know technically they haven't copywritten the ideas. You can totally make a game that is basically Conker's Bad Fur Day without actually being Conker's Bad Fur Day. You don't need Conker to to be that um, you know that kind of you know there to make it. Um, that's why like uh, ukulele is sort of um, whoops whoops wrong spell. Um, also, I guess both of them got a revive, so... Double useful. Very, very nice that both of them got that, because, uh... Your one-time use healing item is like, that's not... That's not gonna be enough, man. Uh, unfortunately, it takes a lot of magic, so, uh... You know... Sparingly use, I guess. Uh-oh, the triple dragon! You got 50,000 in Triple Dragon? This guy shouldn't be that bad though, right? They're just dragons. Dragon Ball C. Yeah, they should be straightforward. The fire is a little annoying though, but hey, eh, we can deal with it. Yeah, like, they've got barely any defense. It's all good. Um, yeah, all the, all this displacement is kind of annoying. Um, but yeah, and, and also on top of that, like, now you don't have a company behind you. Obviously, Ukulele was a very, like, crowd-funded story. Not, not everyone, you know, they had to get all that pedigree and all that, like, hey, you know, we've got, like, uh, Grant Kirko. I was gonna say Kirk Cobain. Yeah, that'd, be, that'd be incredible if you somehow got Kirk Cobain. But, uh, yeah, like... I'm glad that I had two explodits, because, uh, almost everyone died from that. Fortunately, we're safe, but... They're just immune to all fun, apparently, these guys. Oh, never mind, everyone is dead. <laughs> I'm doing a thumbs up right now, this is just a thumbs up moment. Hey! <laughs> Cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna defeat these guys single handedly. But my teammates, from fairly good amounts of health, just dead. Just the pitiful amount of defense, I tell you. It's such a. such a cruel mistress. Because I swear. Uh, any other later Dragon Quest, I swear your, your support guys do not have this low health. They're not this, this week, I tell ya. How could you die? Remember when I said, oh, how funny would it be if I just magically, you know, beat the final boss? And now it's just like, oh, it's just a struggle. I'm gonna need to pick up some pace, man. We're already at 53 minutes on the recording. I know I've been doing some three-hour streams, but it's like, they are, like... I'm a bit terrified of like, oh my gosh, I really wanted to call this the finale stream. I don't want to do an entire stream of I'm fighting enemies. Because I did that for some Pokemon streams, and I know that's a that's a slog if my commentary sucks. So Fortunately, I have topics. Um Yeah. I don't have a ton to say other than I can't really explain why Microsoft thought this studio in particular should be the one to shut down. They're uh, not, not saying it's like, oh, they should have shut down other stuff, but it's like, mm, like, how do I put it? They shouldn't be acquiring all these studios if they clearly couldn't, like, keep up with the wages. Like, I don't know, I feel like it's like, the economic cycle of today, Microsoft and Sony are having some, uh, so Sony is having some, some heated moments of their own. Hasn't Sony shut down, like, a studio recently as well? It wasn't like Hi-Fi Rush level of like, you know, like, oh my gosh, like, like, th this is this is a golden studio and you just suddenly got rid of it. I don't know, 900 employees, 
That's a fair bit. There was... Oh! Oh! What was the one? It was take two! Uh... Told, uh, was it Monkey Squad? Is Monkey Squad the name of the studio that makes Kerbal Space Program? And they said, oh, we're laying off, like, 70 employees. And it's like, they only hired 80 people. <laughs> that studio is gone. Kerbal Space Program devs are just gone. Or their studio is gone, rather. Like, it's such an insane, like... I mean, yeah, all these big companies are doing layoffs, and also it, it gets the news right now, so it's like, you know, it totally, totally makes sense why you're seeing it a ton right now, but uh, it's, it's such a, a sad state of the, the world. Oh, dang it, that was one more than the amount of health he had. Um, it's such a sad state of the world, of just like, man, you know, like, what was all this, like, mass acquisition and all this jazz? And now it's like, clearly none of it's sustainable, it's like, uh, 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 this is my politics, this is, this is where I rant about the politics, it's just like, I don't know, I just wish that, you know, these game studios were around. When are we mass acquiring more RA devs? I mean, we could. I, I'm still of the opinion as well that it's like, what people should really do is just like, make like, fun, small experiences, and we don't need like, high budget. Well, I mean, you know, you just need decent budget. You don't even need high budget these days. It should be very, very cheap to make just a game on a engine. That's fun, I can just revive, you know? The full health revive as well, it's the best kind of revive. Just sucks when both of them die somehow. You gotta sacrifice. Game has to be big. <laughs> it needs to be Skyrim, but like ten times bigger and just as deep. And which, granted though, there are there, like there's things like Enderal. There's definitely some massive community attention that's like, yeah, you know, like there's a little bit of crustiness that you can obviously tell, but it's also like they're really putting their all and spending a lot of time on you know these big projects. And granted, you know the the making a mod for a game that does a lot of, you know, these mechanics already, but it's like... The amount of, like, effort that a lot of fans put into fan projects is very, very admirable, and I really feel like a lots of studios should, um, embrace that, like, when you make a game for millions of people to buy, RA's fan- it is, yes, and I, I, I personally do feel like Retro Achievements, like, is... Um, like, I, I don't want to say it's teetering on a legality edge, because it's like, oh well, no, it doesn't host anything. The worst you can say is, like, it's using, like, images of games. But I'm like, this is partially in a fair use context, this is, like, clearly this is not at all the same thing. Uh, but also it's like, you know, this kind of stuff is like, you know, firing the passion again. Gamefax uses it. Yeah, yeah Gamefax does it. It's like... It's like, I, I consider this to just be like general media, it's like you should, anyone should be able to take a photo of a game in the same way that you can take a photo of like a movie or something. This isn't like the full picture that you're getting, it clearly isn't the exact same thing. Oh, I saw an image of the game, I don't want to buy it anymore. It's like, that's not the, that's not what's happening here. Um, but yeah, like, people are really like, inspired to, you know, relive or even live for the first time through various experiences. Um, and, and a lot of these older games are really good in, in, in their own ways. And uh, it's a shame to, you know, like, for a lot of this to just suddenly disappear. Uh, there was a part of me that was like, um, Shin Megami Tensei 5 on the Switch is piracy has been proven to make sales rise. Yes, I think that there's like a point, because obviously, like, if your game is like, actually free, but it's like, you know, you know, like, Radiohead in Rainbows is like a perfect example where it's like, Radiohead are insanely popular. They released an album where they literally said, you download off our website and you pay us as much as you want, starting at zero dollars. And a lot of people, a crazy amount of people, just got it for free. And yet, a lot of people bought it. And the sales was still good for an album that they literally said they would have let you just download it for free. Like... 
I mean, I know, not everything is going to be quite like that, but a lot of things are going to be quite like that. I think the general case is surprisingly, like, if you do a good job, you're going to make good sales. Obviously, I think you can't just give everything for free, and obviously as well, not everything is going to be In Rainbows. Like, <laughs> In Rainbows is a spectacular album. Um, but I think, yeah, legitimately, like, there's a lot of, um... There's a lot of good experiences out there, and I, I really just wish that, you know, all of it was generally a lot more available than it currently is. Um, and, and yeah, like, closing game studios or any of these weird kinds of things, like, man, I just want, like, more games, and that's it. You don't have to make it, like, crazy for the masses, jigs are falling in place, and there's nothing more to play. Exactly. Dude, um, Weird Fishes is just, like, the soul. It's like, that's, that speaks on a spiritual level, man. That's a, that's a, a great one. Also, I missed it by like, a week, but uh, it, it would have been the, uh, the eight year anniversary of uh, Moonshape Pool, which is, uh, um, I was chatting with a mate about this, how like, if that was the last Radiohead release, if piracy makes companies make more money, uh, why do they fight it? I think there is a little bit of like, posturing in terms of like intellectual property you do have to fight things when it comes to intellectual property which is like uh, i i know like people hate it when like nintendo goes after like every single fan project but it's like there's a part of me that's like i think they're actually having to do it because at what at some point when someone legitimately does infringe on the copyright and if they weren't enforcing it courts would go oh but you didn't do this and it's like oh my gosh so from their perspective it is kind of better safe than not um also, you gotta fight this guy again. You're transgressing. I don't know if it's true. I don't think there's been case that's really defended it. So we're sort of running blind on that one. Um, explode! I just want... There's actually... I think there is a glitch that lets me get another one of the, um, the... The capes. Oh yeah, I think DRM is stupid. Like, DRM flat out, I don't think actually, like, protects you at all. Uh... The reason why I don't think DRM exactly affects sales is that it's too after the fact for anyone to actually act on it. Um... But, uh, legitimately, I hate DRM because it means that my otherwise working Windows, uh, 8.1 key suddenly doesn't work anymore. And I'm left confused, and now I probably will not buy another... Wow, what? that was like 255 damage hits, oh my gosh. Um... Wait, there it is. Thanks for the follow, at least VTuber. Did I mention VTubers at all? I did earlier on the stream, didn't I? Um, this is gonna be a bit of an interesting one. I can cast a revive. So why do they do it? I, I again, I think there's posturing. You are there, yes, you are still there. Shout out Margaret Visions because you gave me a, a um like like an ad the moment you followed. I I love the the bots and they follow you and then they like <laughs> they drop an ad. <laughs> um, but yeah, the um yeah, why do they do it? I think. It might be posturing. Some some of it as well, I think actually might be like we did a contract with Denuvo and we're sort of contractually obligated to use it. I feel like that's legitimately something that they might do, which is like, come on guys, like really? You can't, you have to put the DRM in? Um Yeah, it's like an open secret, yeah. Um well, yeah, yeah, our, our as a community, and obviously, you know, like, there's, there's stuff like that. This is, uh, there's a part of me that's like, you know, whatever I say, it's like, uh, I am bound to, like, whatever platform I'm on, like, their rules. Obviously, I can't say things that are, like, against Twitch's rules. But it's also like, I'm not a partner of Twitch. So, it's also just like, I'm just me, you know? None of us is, like, affiliated with anyone. This is just, like, always my opinion. Um... But, uh, yeah, I could probably do the actual, like, raw opinion, um, of, like, anything I do on my Fetty. 
and again another another flex but it's like the the beautiful thing about the fediverse and the beautiful thing about all that is like you can't like get banned maybe you can if you say some incredibly inflammatory things that your domain name gets pulled um which to some degree i still feel like is actually maybe too far as well um in some cases but it's like yeah like uh like, you can't get banned. It's, it, it's like you're coming to my website to, to find out what I say, so... Okay, let's try and not die. Shall we? Uh, let's do an increase. We could probably... I could probably get the defense, because I can drag his defense down. So this should help a little bit. And that should help a fair bit. Because now I can deal 90 damage in a single hit. But the flame's like, oh, that's so much damage, so much. Uh, okay, let's do another heal. Let's do, I'm gonna do one more defense. This might be gutsy. This should, this should help speed up the fight. Now he's gonna do the same thing on me, but hey, you know, I'm okay with him spending a turn doing that. Uh, increase and uh, in uh, do I cast around? The music's pretty neat though. I believe he is kind of resistant to surround, but he's not entirely resistant. So I've got a chance to make this work. Hey, there you go. Alright, this is gonna need to be some insane healing going on right now. Uh, see, I wish I could, like, heal the whole party. <laughs> I really wish that was in there somewhere. Oh, no! He just moves faster than me in one turn. Granted, that I was going very aggressive, but it's like, oh! <laughs> That's what the whole stream's for. We're just, we're just throwing ourselves at this guy until eventually it works. Eventually it works. I mean, yeah, if, you, if you're doing the retro achievement set, you're gonna be like, oh, there's an achievement for hitting max level on everyone. And at that point, yeah, no, this boss is a bit of a joke. Uh, if, you, if you're like me, though, and you're like, what, level 29? Or did I actually hit level 30? I still don't have all the, all the, um, the spells. It's, it's a bit of a fight, it's a bit of a struggle. We'll get there. We'll get there. Um, yeah, I don't know. There's a, there's, a, there's a part of me that's like, some things that you say, how's Katara World Tour going? I, I mean, I haven't done any progress in the last day, but uh, for the stream reference, uh, because I only I only update this, <laughs> I only, when I say this on the stream, I get some messages there. Um, so in the past week, it's been a fairly like full on week uh, in terms of like actually diving into it. Um, but yeah, the status update right now is basically everything knowledge-wise, apart from being in the editor itself for custom songs, I've figured out. I'm, I'm good. I've got something. I, at least I think it works. Um, there's still a part of me that I'm not 100% sure if the thing I've got for custom songs is quite the right thing, but... Uh, either I spend tons of time just looking at the code and really trying to, like, break down what it's actually doing, or we put it in action. We start testing it, and uh, if I don't see it break at all, I'm gonna be fairly confident it works. The nice thing as well is like, I've gotten much more into the habit of um, writing out parts of the, the code in terms of what I'm checking. So my achievement logic is rather straightforward in terms of like the high level of the things I just need to guarantee. And then, the individual parts are just like, like one of them is like, are uh, cheats enabled? Like, I just say that. I don't say, is auto kick enabled and is auto, um, uh, or is all taps enabled? Which, that's effectively what that does, but it's like, oh, you know, like I don't think of it in terms of that. I just think of it in terms of all cheats. And I've got one where it's like, uh, is only one player, um, is player one guitar, and that's it. And I've actually got like a function for that which does the proper offset um, for uh, you know like finding the right thing because it's like all the all the player info is just in an array, but it's all like these rather large structs. Um, so 
so yeah, so it's just uh, making sure that uh, I keep it quite manageable so I can easily add things to it. Um, I'm pretty confident this will be all good. I think the custom song stuff, which is only going to affect custom songs, um, will definitely be interesting to note. But other than that, uh, yeah, one, one big headache in the past week was, um, or two big headaches was, uh, uh, oh, the, the biggest one was, uh, the game's got the series of, um, like, what, what I'm going to describe as the career progression info and also the leaderboards. It's all put in one contiguous object. So there's a big array of leaderboards, which, uh, has, tw uh, has three 12 character strings indicating the, um, the, the names of whoever's first, second, and third in the leaderboard for that song, difficulty, and instrument. And then, uh, like, three bytes for each of the scores uh, for those three placements, and then also some career information, so how many stars you got in career mode, what's the score you got, and whether it's got gold stars, and maybe there's other things like, um, because if you adjust some of it, it kind of affects the career progression somewhere, so I'm like, okay, there's gotta be something a little more to it, but only a little bit more, not a ton more. Um, but, uh, but what I found out is that you can actually invoke the game to, uh, <laughs> set that up in a different order, which means my original attempt of going through and understanding, you know, which, in index zero, which song instrument difficulty does that relate to, or rather, I went through each song difficulty instrument in game and figured out what address or what index it was coming out the other side, but unfortunately, yeah, that changed on me, and I was very upset. Uh, then I looked more into it, and I found that there were, uh, nodes. There was, there was like, uh, the same kind of node you could see which had uh, a pointer to each leaderboard entry, and it had a hash in front of it. And it took me a while to understand, but I was like, oh, this is a hash, just like the other links list. And then I was like, but they're not pointing to the next nodes, are they? And I find out these are pointed to by other nodes. So it's like there's, and that's an actual links list. It's got a next value to, to every single node. So, okay, so there's an actual links list somewhere. Every node points to another node, which has a value, a hash value. And if that's the right thing, then that points to the actual leaderboard struct. And that's how you know that you're you're pointing towards the right song. Um, for Retro Achievements logic, I can't use it. It's too much to do. It is way too much to, to look into. Because, uh, let's just say, uh, when I was looking at the, the shop earlier, it was like, oh, I gotta have a linked list of 100 nodes in order to do my, like, my logic. And this scale is out of proportion when I want to say, hey, this list, um, in, uh, you know, like, you gotta look through the list to find the hash you're wanting, and then you need to, um, you need to then look through the list again in the previous frame for the hash. And also, in order to do this in Retro Achievements logic, you have to write alt groups for every single combination of every single potential node it could be at. And it's, it's painful, it's absolutely insane if you were to do it by hand. And it's not too bad with the uh, RA tools, which generates it all for you, but... Um, yeah, that, that, uh, like, making... If your list was 80 nodes, 80 nodes long, you would create 5 megabytes worth of just text, of just Retro Achievements logic. Um, so, uh, this one being 6,147 nodes, uh, should really raise some flags, although there's a part of me that's also like, well, I'm fairly certain this list doesn't rearrange itself. When something updates, it's actually pretty in place, I don't think it actually moves anywhere. Um, so that's good at least, but it's still 6,000 nodes long. That's way too much to actually handle in Retro Achievements logic, so... Uh, I've gone the easy route, we're just, we're just gonna go, uh, instead of checking career progression, I'm going to check that you actually do just finish each song in a single session. And it resets if you leave the gig. I might as- because the game itself already kinda has this, uh, ability, so it's like, oh, you know, just leverage that. Is it slightly trickier, in, in the sense of you can't leave? I guess, but... You can still restart songs, you can even change the difficulty while you're in the gig. That's actually fine. Um, I only checked that you've got the right instrument, song, 
and uh, difficulty by the time that song ends. Um, that's the only thing I ever checked, so that should be all good. Um, I've also got a plan for all the remaining achievements, because uh, I've obviously got like the leaderboards for everything. Um, I've got that one for the gigs, I've got basically five star achievements for every single main song, and uh, I've got the career experience, the money. That's all good. Sort of the repetitive ones, that's kind of what I've got, so. We still got to do the custom songs, and I also want to do some other kind of like one-off ones, so like some ones relating to Voxtar or things like that. Um, I think the very, very original plan was Voxtar would be its own achievement set, but um, probably a fair bit to just ask the player to be like, Ah oh, yes, and now play through the entire game again, this time you're singing while you're doing all the guitar and drums. And it's like, yeah, that's basically three quarters of the set again, but you're singing. I get, I get it, I think it's probably a bit excessive, so... Uh, we're just gonna do a couple of, well, like, seven, I think, Voxtar achievements? Ba oh, not, not always uh, guitar as well. Because uh, I'm like, well, it's got Hotel California. The guy, the guy, I don't, I'm sorry, I don't know the Eagles. <laughs> but, uh, he's like, he drums, at least you can do Smash Hits, Van Halen, and Metallica right after this one. <laughs> hey, I'm going back to SingStar! I'm going back to SingStar! We're doing the, the regional subset on that one. We gotta do that one. Also, I know I need to, like, have the full combo subsets queued up and the multiplayer set queued up. So I kinda... There's a part of me that's like, I kinda need to have those on the ready. Um... So I'll probably do those on a roll and then I'll go back to the SingStar one. Um... I'm gonna... swipe. So I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna step outside. I'm gonna fight some enemies out of here, because I think I've actually got a better run of getting these guys, even though the metal bubble slimes are there, it's like, the odds of them running away and the odds of them appearing... Need even rhythm games. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, this is the, the rhythm game, uh, iceberg. Well, it's not an iceberg, but yeah, it's, it's, it's a swamp. It's like, you do one rhythm game, you're sort of slated to do all of them. Um... And I, I, I completely accept that, because whoever's, whoever's doing, like, all the PS1 Dance Dance Revolution games, like, Absolute props to that lad for uh, the Manny Python 2. Yes, true. Which is not the same Python 2 that I keep thinking of. It's not. It's not that Python 2. Um. But uh, yeah, props to whoever's doing the um the uh the Dance Dance Revolution games because he's like nailed out like a ton of these sets, like multiple in a day. He did like three in one day. Um, I, I'm just gonna assume it's all the same engine, and he's absolutely dedicated when it comes to doing the icons. Or he had them all queued up. But still, props to him. That's, a, that's also as well, like, you know, just because just because one guy... It, it, is, it is a little bit of statistic hyperinflation if you are gonna, like, start comparing, like, Oh, you know, like, so many people play my sets, it's like, Van Halen, uh... Relatively easy, but there is, like, one catch, which is, um, the set list achievements would be a, a little bit different, because World Tour prompts you to play through the entire set in one go, whereas those games are traditional Guitar Hero. It's like, they unlock a row of, you know, a, a handful of songs, and then you can play them in whatever order, you're also not even inclined to play all of them, um, so that's that's a little different. That'll be a kind of curious one if the um, if the progression is just as like weirdly stored in memory, because the only way that you know that someone's beaten all these songs is if you dig through so much so much stuff. Um, but I think generally everything else, yeah, probably is the same. I think all the the money systems are going to mostly be the same. The uh, hopefully the detecting the U rock and I don't know, like real talk, like. What actually did these other devs do to make these games? Were there, like... Did they do anything mechanically, or is it just other than Expert Plus, I guess? All of SingStar is basically the same. I, all of SingStar is, is the same a little bit, but... Um, rap sections and uh, co-op charts a little iffy. If anything, it's, it's probably a little easier because I don't have to deal with a single player anymore. Because I did the only thing start with a career mode. <laughs> I 
gotta kind of do some iffy stuff for the regional subset, because it's like, the, the worst part about doing that set was supporting the songs in multiple contexts for the career mode, and I'm like, uh, like, do I need to... Do I need to support people singing the songs in the career mode, or do I just go, yeah, this only counts in my quick play. Maybe I'll just do that, I'll just say, like, this only counts in, in sing mode. It's a subset, it's like, eh, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> um, but yeah, the other games as well, it's like, there's no career mode, so it should be straightforward. And the only thing I need to really watch out for is the the disc swap feature because I'm like I don't want to accidentally like have a song like casually work out of nowhere. You know I want you to accidentally trigger some other song. There's um it also does like this weird hashing thing. Well, it's not a hashing thing maybe, but it's like whatever the song IDs are, it's just like a very weird like 32-bit number. Easy 70s sets, pretty much. It's gonna be kind of insane for like the the ones that have like just sprinkled, like, individual songs. At least the first, like, SingStar, there's a sizable number of songs that are exclusive for each version. But, in, uh... In the later ones, it's like, oh, it's gonna be kinda, it's gonna be kinda... Oh, there it goes, there it goes. This is kinda iffy, because it's like, I kinda wanna do a... I'm gonna do a heal more. Mm, yeah. Don't kill him because I want the experience. Dang it. <laughs> Level 30! Wow! Keep the grind going. Keep the grind going. Also, how much? I guess I can always just cast a return as well to, to get back to the healing. <laughs> But I mean, at the end of the day as well, like, uh, there's probably trifles compared to the big effort of Zeb in the original. Um, I'm, yeah, I'd, I'd say so. Like, uh, some of it as well is just, like, my infancy when it comes to, like, dealing with these kinds of games. Because I'd never reversed a PS2 game before, and it's, like, man, it's, like, out of all the PS2 games to, to reverse, it's like, man, that one is, like, shocking. But, um... I don't think any of these games I've, I've gone and, and said like, oh, you know, like, they're doing things terribly. There's parts of me that are like, they really could have optimized this because I know that they probably had it unoptimized. Or, for example, in Guitar Hero World Tour, let's, uh, let's just say, for example, there's a part which uh, checks the, well, actually, that leaderboard thing is exactly the right, the right thing. There are only so many songs in the game, you gotta call that list at some point, and there's only so many instruments, and there's only so many difficulties. It would be incredibly easy to have just made your leaderboard, uh, like, okay, so every, uh, song instrument has a five score, or a five, like, or like, uh, you've got your leaderboard entry. Make an array of five of those for all five difficulties. Now make an array of five of that for all five instruments. Then make an array of all 86 of those for all the instruments, or for the, all the songs. I know you're you're overkilling because there are no vocals leaderboards for Satch Boogie, although you could probably find that in memory. There are no, um, uh... There's no, uh, like, any anything that's not guitar for the, uh, the guitar jewels. And the game crashes if you attempt to try and load those into, into memory as well. You can attempt, there is nothing there. Um, but, like, yeah, you know, you can waste a little bit of space, you know, like, because each of the leaderboards is, uh, 56 bytes. Yeah, I can, I can waste, like, you know, a couple, like, a kilobyte. Just a, just a couple of kilobytes for, for, like, you know, the leaderboards that you won't use. Um, having the, uh, the leaderboards with a linked list where every node is 16 bytes and there are 6,000 nodes is already, like, 100 kilobytes or close to that, and you have another links list inside, which is also about that size. And then you have the leaderboards, which still takes up the same amount of space anyways, because you probably did initialize it with an array. It, act it potentially could have been an array that's actually, like, initializing that size, so... 
Uh, and I love as well, like, that's like 300 kilobytes, which doesn't sound like that much. It's like, oh, that's pretty tiny. But it's like the PS2 only has 32 megabytes of memory in total. Uh, that's probably like 1% of it, which, again, not much, but it's like just for, just for the leaderboards. Oh, I'm not afraid, I'm not afraid, because like, that, that could have been better. But, uh, like, it, the, the pain point is not actually like, I mean, okay, some of the pain point is like figuring out what the game's doing, because, um, part of, part of that system actually goes through two function pointers, and it's very hard to like, really track what's the parameters being passed through, because you can't do static analysis on a function pointer. It's just like, it has a pointer, and also the code is pulling a lot of stuff off the stack. It's like, the, it's just like stack pointer minus 240. It's like just something ages ago. It just knows it's there, it works. But oh boy, this is not like conventional like debug mode stack. This is your compiler doing some amazing optimization there. Uh, and yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's tricky with static analysis. You sort of have to just sample, find some variables, find some bits and registers and go, hmm, where does that go? Um, interestingly, the one that I found for the custom songs is like, it writes to a specific address. Like, there's a very, very specific address. It's static, it's, it's hard-coded to write there. This weird number. I'm not sure what the number means, but it writes there. So, you can sort of like, trace everything back to that. Because it writes to that in the middle of everything. It's very odd, it's a very odd, like, call there. Um, but all this stuff, like, I don't know, it kind of makes sense uh, in some way from development. I'm already an expert there. I'm, I mean, I, I do it professionally, so... Not retro to this step, but it's like, I do, I do programming professionally, and I can definitely, like, um, all this other, like, previous stuff about, like, poor implementation and things like that, like, um, I know the, <laughs> the Yandera dev, like, fiasco from ages ago, which I never commented on at the time, but it's like, when people went, like, oh, you know, I found the source code, there was a part of me that was like, this has to be a joke, like, there, no way, no way, instead of writing a switch statement, or even better yet, like, a proper, like, mapping, like, a, like, just, just a map, please, just use a map, um, or, or other, like, functional, functional programming, and, or, uh, like, object-oriented paradigms, it's like, no, it's a gigantic function, thousands of lines long, if state is one, do this, if state is two, do this, if state is three, do this, and it's like, what they're doing is like a couple of variable writes as well, it's barely anything, but it's like the most, like, wow, this is insanely large, you could have done this with like the strategy pattern, you could, there's so many, like, oh my gosh, that's so, <laughs> it makes me like, like, absolutely, <laughs> like, absurd amount of, I don't know, I can't, I, I can't get my head around that, but, the whole, that whole thing is like, yes, there, there can be really poor uh, programming, um, that was written in Unity, uh, using, you know, C Sharp, because everything in Unity uses C Sharp, back in the day when people used Boo or JavaScript, and they've been very, very phased out because C Sharp has taken off. Um, shout out to anyone who remembers Pop, by the way. Uh, one day I may return to that, but I knew nothing at the time. So, uh, I, I literally pulled some scripts, I didn't know how they worked. I then was confused why some things happened in the Unity editor after I did that. Because, not because, not because the code is malicious, but because, like, it sets up so much stuff that I didn't know about, and then, like, oh, like, I knew how to make squares move back and forth. I wasn't an artist, I wasn't a designer, I wasn't a programmer, I was a very, very rudimentary music composer at the time. And that was it. So, <laughs> um, but at least I didn't make money off it. I didn't try to sell it to anyone. <laughs> I just wanted to make a cool game. You look into the Psychonauts PS2 memory, I want to know what's up with that. I can give it a glance, and I can try and ask if, like, some people, um, know some stuff about that. Um, 
but very likely what I'm expecting from later PS2 games, and I know Guitar Hero World Tour is a very late PS2 game, so... Um, but, like, what I'm expecting is, like, people just, like... Um... Well, yeah, it's... The, the pain points is, one, the function uh, pointers, I think, is actually the death knell when it comes to, like, trying to really, really figure out how a game works, because it effectively means you need to, like, debug <coughs> and watch for, like, addresses to code memory. You need to, like, really map out functions and code memory and all that stuff. And hopefully they're not executing actual memory. Hopefully they are not actually doing that. Uh, but very likely most function pointers just point to, like, just a part of code. Um, actually as well, on top of that, uh, a lot of function pointers appear because of, um, it's not actually, like, passing around a function pointer, it's just polymorphic, like, this is the inheritance tree and that's just how it actually compiled to. So it's like, I write a class, I write another class that overrides a function, um, technically this is implemented with like a V table and technically there's a callback that's actually configured around this one part. Like that's, that's sometimes how it compiles to and it's like, oh, okay, sure. Um, so what I'm seeing in reverse, uh, assembly is, may, may actually just be very far from what they, uh, what they originally intended. Not very far, because it does the same thing, but far enough in the sense of, um, like, no sane person would write this manually, but it makes a lot of sense for, uh, the game to, or the compiler to just do that. Uh, generally there's a lot of pointers as well, and a lot of people relying on, um, later, like, C++ features, because you, maybe you could leverage C++03 if they had, like, a compiler for that for the PS3. I don't know if they would have, um... There's not a ton of things with that, like, you know, the, the set buster. The set buster. There's probably other people in the, the Retro Achievements um, community that also probably know more than me, because I've had way more experience with this. Um, like, there's people who actually, like, reverse games well before they even got to, like, Retro Achievements stuff. I've done, like, a little bit, but not, like, a ton. Um, I do have the fun one, though, of, like, trying to figure out, uh structures of files. I'm pretty okay with that, so I remember I spent like a fair bit of time figuring out exactly how like the the save files to borderlines work out. I don't know why, I thought borderlines would be a really fun one to like just understand. And it's like that one's a shocking one because the save files are like kind of big, but it's full of like strings, as in weapon model strings. It's not just like, oh, you know, like, int, 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 int. It's not like numbers all over the shop. It's like, no, like, these are the, these are the, the unit, the, unit, the unreal, like, model, or like, um, what they call them. Did they call them blueprints in, no, then they weren't blueprints in Unreal 3, I forgot what they call them. But it's like, these are just, like, those, like, names. The names of the objects defined in Unreal. Just in your save file over and over and over again because that's how it works and uh and then there's a couple of ints around the actual player info so yeah it's toy around with your borderlands save file because it's not like you can get back banned from a local game um and uh you'll you'll find things like hey yeah i can um casually give myself all the skill points every single one of them which you can totally use to cheat achievements but uh one please don't and two it's Borderlands 1. I have lots and lots of reservations about Borderlands 1. I love how, as much as I rip into Borderlands 1, I feel like I have, like, observed an insane amount of how it works under the hood. <laughs> to, like, 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 I, I don't know, I'm one of those people who, like, writes the negative review, it, it's like, it, it was okay, and then it's like 2,000 hours. Uh, I don't have 2,000 hours, but I have, like, I got an insane amount of hours in that for how much I don't like it. And a fair bit is like actually playing the game a couple of times and really trying to understand it. Uh, those people are wrong, in my opinion. Um, but I'm also of the opinion that I don't think any of the Borderlands games are particularly amazing. But I do think the second game is like much more solid than the first one. I have big gripes about the first game because um, I also don't want to knock it. Like, if you if you have fun, then that's fine. 
Um, my my biggest gripes come from I play it, I have not played it but with anyone else. I've only played it by myself, and um, the uh, like what what it's paced with, how the pacing works. It's like it really does. Yeah, it really does depend on I guess like how you've tackled everything in the game. I feel. Tell anything, are we? Um, yeah, there's a part of me that's like, like for example, there's more side quests in the starting area than there is in the entire rest of the game. No, that's not true at all. But it's like almost more, and the, and the starting area of the game is actually like a third of the quest. That I think is actually true. Um, the end of the game is surprisingly like very brief. There's a lot of like wider open areas and some more interesting parts. Um, I, yeah, I did the New Game Plus, um, part of me is also maybe I was dragged down by the DLC. I don't think the DLC really had the pacing at all. Um, I'm not a big fan of Horde modes, so when one of the DLCs is literally just all Horde modes, it's like, uh. Hey, these are, these are some classic enemies. Classic Dragon Quests. But, I don't know, um... A little bust I wish I was hit by that though, that would've been cool. They really don't like my main guy, do they? I like how I'm going through here, maybe expecting another, like, metal... Liquid Metal Slime, but, uh... I don't know, man, I just keep finding dragons. And then, like, the amount of effort it takes to, like, defeat these guys, or I guess all of these guys are a fair bit, but it's like, this is what I mean by the amount of experience, it's like... Oh, that was actually okay! That's actually okay. I'll accept that. That's, that, that's good. It could be higher, of course, but... I've seen fights where it's really pitiful. You get a very, very, like, low amount of experience, so... You gotta deal with this guy though. This guy is always just like, hi, yes, please just end me now. Um, yeah, I think that's uh, the part of me with Borderlands and probably a lot of games tangentially like it is uh, I am not one to enjoy the grind and uh, the random kind of weapons felt like a very arbitrary, oh, I suck and now I'm good. Like, okay, this is, this is a, I'm gonna try and do my best to, like, not hit him, but he might get triggered by me, uh, casting a fireball or a fire bane. Like, he's, ne he's never gonna get affected by spells. That's just never gonna happen. I just wanna get the Magus out of the way, because he's always just annoying. The Gigante's not fun, but... Can deal with him. Um, I'm expecting, yeah, I'm expecting this metal bubble to flee. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, but yeah, yeah, I don't know, like, I didn't like how it works. I'm not a entirely against randomized loot, because, uh, there's some other games where I thought, oh, by the way, hi, hi, the most useful spell in the world, sacrifice. Thought, thought you needed your character? Well, <laughs> look no further, you can now just tell them to off themselves. It does defeat everything else, but uh... Not the bosses, which... Given, given what level are we at? What level? Did you just hit 28? Do you, like, is there anything that you need to use that on at this level? It's not like there's a super boss somewhere. This is it. This is the only thing that I've yet to defeat. This is a bit of a weird castle though, I'll tell you that. Like, it's got some funky, funky layout. Funky level design. Man, I'm getting swept up by this boss. I haven't, like, dished that much damage. And my dazzle was kind of worthless. I 
think Dazzle is kind of worthless, to be honest. Like, how often is he doing melee attacks? Not often enough. Uh, it should be good. Who dares interrupt me yet again? Um, I was gonna say I played, yeah, Nino Kuni 2, which I don't, I don't think Nino Kuni 2 was a spectacular game, but it certainly was like a does the job kind of game. Explode it! It's poor Hargon. This is his castle. I'm raiding his own castle. Oh, I really thought he could use that twice. Uh, he'll probably heal on this one. Really. Oh no, he's just gonna kill mana instead. Cool boss, cool boss, okay. Um, yeah sure, I guess you can watch out for sacrifice, don't wanna, don't wanna hit that one. I've got the, the thing that reduces the cost of magic at least, so there's that. This guy, he's, he's not healing, is he? He's just going for it. Oh, now he is. There he goes. I was worried, man. You're not looking after yourself. You're looking a bit frail there. Look at your hands. And then he just slaps. Good job, he's slapping. Slap that face. Uh... Yeah, no, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what the future holds for um, uh, for retro retro players around the world. Um, hopefully, I can get this Guitar Hero set ironed out over time. I would say it's very ambitious to get it done um, this weekend, but uh, the goal is hopefully get it done before uh, the um, the claim expires. The art is probably going to take me just a fair bit of time, um, partially because manual labor, like the amount of just like, you gotta type everything out. Um, I fortunately automate the uh, actual like, images that I would then upload, but the amount of time it takes to like, manually type, or like, uh, you know, inject them all into the, the achievements, because you gotta do all that manually is like, ugh. And I gotta manually put in all the leaderboard IDs after they come up, just so I can, Attach into my script. Yeah, that's gonna be fun there. Let's check out Saido yet again. How you doing, Saido? Oh, I'm doing okay. Well, that's good. Thanks, man. I wish I could do Insulate, because that's usually like Dragon Quest boss like 101, but there is no Insulate on this one. This is just everyone like cops it real hard right off the bat. Um. And then he'll probably like get another hit where he's just faster and he gets a kill on my main character right off the bat. Very cool, very cool, very Gucci, very Gucci of you. Uh, I could maybe get away with, uh, I'll just do a defense again because why not. happening, man? What's going on? It's a, it's a very odd, uh, beginning, isn't it? Oh my gosh. Am I doing this fight right? I swear, like, I'm doing something wrong. Cause it's like, oh, there goes like, you know, almost all my magic. It's basically like two people healing constantly. And then hope for the best, man. Really just hope for the best. Cause uh... These are like, pretty much like one hits all the time. 
Uh, and I can't revive unless I, you know, use a wizard. Which is just gonna be, this is gonna be absolute, like, fun for, for Nana, isn't it? And then, it doesn't matter, because it's just faster than me out of nowhere. <laughs> Uh, you lose half your money, and technically your other party members are also dead, and you have to pay money to get them revived, but this guy, when you talk to him, revives and heals everyone, and then prompts you for a save. So, and, uh, there's nothing to spend money on at this point. There's really, there's not a single thing that I can spend money on, because I'm, like, I'm looking through the stuff. The Thunder Sword is the best sword in the game, hands down. Um... It's, it's really good. All the Lotto armor is also the best armor for the main character, and only the main character. Um, I have the fur- the fur? The fur armor. The fur armor. Is this... Am I actually insane? Am I actually... Hold on, is this actually what I think of? <laughs> Armor in Dragon Quest 2. I need to look this up, because I keep getting, like, the wrong name items. And I haven't, because the NES version and the SNES version are named differently. I have no idea if I'm actually, like, looking at the right things. But hold on, like, if I unequip that, if, is that, like, four armor? If I unequip? Uh, oh, yep. So, he's got the light sword, because a lot of sword isn't as much. No, yeah, yeah, that's 60. Yeah, okay, never mind. Never mind. I'm not going insane. That's the that's the mink coat. Which is insanely expensive. Okay, that's all good. <laughs> I thought I was going insane there. Uh, the heal shield, there's like, hold on, okay, so there's how many shields in the game? There are like five? And the heal shield is like one of two that he can equip. And the magic helmet is like well, it's the only helmet he can equip, so that's all good. Uh, you can technically equip the Devil Tower if you're weird and you want to be cursed, but sure. As a Nana, it's like literally nothing. She's got like the Bolt uh, staff, which is actually, it's a good staff, it's the best staff. Um, and the Water Robe is the fancy robe. She can't equip shields, and I might be able to get an additional helmet, and that's it. That's the only, this is the only armor in the game. There is nothing else left to equip on anyone. The only thing left is in case there were any, like, magic seeds, which I could maybe increase a stat by, like, a little bit. Um... And some levels, and that's it. Are we really gonna, like, have another stream where I'm just like, yep. Oh, I'm gonna be in the end boss, because I'm just throwing myself at, like, enemies and leveling up and stuff like that. I mean, I've gained a few levels. I'm not gaining that many levels. <laughs> So I feel like I really just don't have a strategy. I was sort of going into this going, well, I can't do anything about the fire. And the fire is kind of like, it's overwhelming. It's a bit too much. But I don't know, I'm looking at the other spells going, okay, like you've got like increase, which is your, in you know, increase your defense spell, but like, I don't want to increase my defense. That doesn't stop the fire, which is, that's the only thing that he was really, like, dishing me on. Like, it would hit me, but... It wasn't that bad, was it? I don't think it was that bad. Also, a uh, fun fact, I'm pretty sure the princess didn't learn Revive in the original. You were stuck with one person doing it. Your saving grace is that the final boss wasn't actually as, like... Insane. Come on, so, okay. Let's try and figure out some tips off the internet. Oh my gosh, I got some results that are in Spanish. Ooh. What do some people recommend? People do actually say this is the hardest game though. Which makes perfect sense, I guess. 
But it's kind of just like, it is just the difficulty, like, bump. It is just like, like, that's it. That is the final boss. And you know exactly where this game's about to go the moment, you know, I beat him. But... Give yourself enough leveling, you will get this, like, boss out of the way, but... Until then, you know, you're diving at it. Well, we got the game facts, so maybe we'll check the game facts. Oh, this is the Switch Guide. Okay. Final Grind. That's a section on this game facts guide. Oh my gosh. Uh, so let's let's just continue the process, just so I've got stuff going on. He goes, this is the last grind you will have to do, and it will be your longest grinding session in the game by far. I suggest grinding in the hills west of Renderak Shrine because the item drops from these monsters are well worth it. I recommend you get the hero to level 43, <laughs> the prince to 42, and the princess level 40. Well, uh, hold on, hold on. Did they change the way experience works? Because uh, the princess can only get up to level 35 in this game. I might be looking at the Switch version, it may be different. How about, let's go back, let's go back, um... I guess I'd have to look up Dragon Quest 1 plus 2, wouldn't I? At the very least, this is like a double feature game. You can, I mean... It is, it is definitely like, oh, you know, like... The other game is not as long, but I think there is like... There's a charm to this game, definitely, and there's also a, um... I think there is certainly a game that you can be inspired by. Of like, hey, you know, like, this is how you make... This is how you make game. This is how you make a, a neat little RPG. It's very classic and traditional. Dragon Quest is always great for that. And the monster designs are always great. The music's always good. But I certainly do feel that, like, after you've really gone to the main areas and you've, you know, you've picked up the main characters from their places uh, and even then it's like the prince was literally just oh, well I went over here because I thought you were over here and then you went there and I wasn't there and then I was over here and eventually you just catch him at like a bar and that was it, there wasn't really anything going on um, the princess got turned into a dog I guess it's that and everyone at her castle died in an intro cutscene about it though. There's not really any backstory, there's not really any lore. All you know is the evil guy's evil. You know, there's, there's certainly a uh, simplicity and a um, somewhat a brevity to it, but when you get a crime like this, it's like, eh, yeah, I kind of, kind of feel it. And it's weird as well, because like, we'll get into Dragon Quest 3 and it's like, whoa, whoa, just actual like RPG mechanics, oh man, no, that's all RPG mechanics, but like, as in, like, the pacing is like, damn, they figured it out. They really got it on that one, so. Alright, so what what else does this GameFX guide say? We're talking about Dragon Quest 1. We're talking about Dragon Quest 1. This is all Dragon Quest 1 you're talking about, man. Here we go. Oh, it's because we clicked on the wrong one. That one's on me. That one's on me. I clicked on the wrong one. So what does he do? Uh, walk through. He did not put a table of content, so I'm just gonna have to scroll to the bottom. Hargon's Castle. Alright. Use the same pattern. It will cross Zala. Okay. Cast Sapgard head for the throne room. It's in the center of the room. Before you approach Hargon, you better heal. You have the Wizard's Ring and restore the max HP as well. Approach Hargon, talk to him. The answer to the question doesn't matter. You'll fight him. Hero should turn all of his rounds attacking as usual because he literally doesn't have anything else he can do. The prince should cast stop spell, and oh, maybe oh, maybe that's my maybe that's my thing. Um, keep trying until it works. The princess should parry and keep the party healed up. Once you defeat Hargon, don't move. Heal the max HP. Turn around, and try to leave. Mount will appear. The princess should cast defense, and the prince should cast increase. I've been doing that. Try to keep these spells about two levels stronger than the initial powers. Mount will use defense and increase. So after a flame blast, have the prince parry and let the princess heal him. Use the shields of strength to heal the hero while you do this. When you defeat Malroth, you win. Okay, good. Good. So I was sort of along the right lines as well. Uh, what level, by the way, does he say I have to be? Because, uh... Well, he just talks about the cave right before. He doesn't actually, like... There you go. Head west across the bridge, some west, and tree, uh... 
Yeah, okay, so save the game now. You want the following equipment for your party. So here are Thunder Sword, Erdrick's Armor, Erdrick's Shield, Erdrick's Helm, <coughs> Dragon's Bane. He should be carrying a shield of strength to heal himself if necessary. That is, yeah, that is one thing I could do. I could buy myself another healing shield and just have it as an item. Um, maybe that'll come in handy, I don't know. Maybe, let's see. Oh, I'm only gonna want to stream for like another hour and then it's like, yep, this finale is not the finale. It's just another, another grinding stream. Ah, can't believe I've done this again. This is just every RPG I ever play, apparently. It always devolves into a grinding stream. Dragon Quest 1 wasn't a grinding stream, I guess. Uh, okay, uh... The Prince, Light Sword, Mink Coat, Shield of Strength, Dragon's Bane should be carrying all three of your keys. I don't know why he needs the keys, but sure, okay. Uh, and then the Princess, Staff of Thunder, Water Flying Cloth, Dragon's Bane should be carrying a Shield of Strength to heal herself, as well as the Charm of Rubus and the Eye of Nara. Uh, the Prince or Princess... Uh, your choice should also be equipped with the, with the mysterious hat found in the cave. Uh, you should also be at least level 25 in the prince before setting on the final journey, as this revive spell will prove a necessity. I usually prefer to level up a couple levels beyond this, until the prince is about level 27. See, I'm at that point. I'm at that point. I'm there. I'm, I'm at it. But... Yeah, I don't, I don't have the additional healing, and, um, Dragon's Bane is, uh... What does Dragon's Bane translate to? That's just the, um, yeah, the amulet, which I'm, everyone has. Uh, and, and, I mean, it, it gives you resistance to snooze. But, like, no one's casting snooze on me. Or fizzle. So I don't see, like, a ton of benefit from it, but I definitely get at least like well you know there's no harm in having it thank you mr game facts unfortunately it's like i followed everything he said to a t and it's like yep nope he still wrecks me real real harsh um this is technically the snes version but the the snes version was never localized um so you'd be running off a fan translation but it is virtually identical to this version of the game um so it might actually be like kind of nicer on the presentation angle um, I do like this one, just, you know, use the Game Boy Color to its fullest, you've got your, um, I mean, <laughs> you got your nice, like, clashes of strong colors, and the overall it's nice and pretty, so I always like that for Game Boy Color games in particular, when they can really leverage what makes the Game Boy Color really pop, but, um, yeah, I, I don't know, like, you can only compete with the SNES so much. Okay, we're well, up to level 31, I, it's just like, yep, you get a bit more strength, and... Every other one of your stats keeps going up by a little bit, but certainly, like, at some point, you know, you got a major flex on them. Major flex on Mauroth. So what are we doing for, for stats? So, yeah, so... My strength is really starting to, to level out. There's only so much it's actually going to get to before it kind of just goes, yeah, I'm, I'm done. Like, I'm looking at it going, at least this is on the... The strategy wiki table, so who knows, because the other guy said level 40 for the princess, and I'm very confused there. Um, but I'm at level 31, which means my strength is at 127. It might be a little more because I have some seeds, but... Like, okay. Exploder is always still mean. Ugh. Ugh. Um... Do -do -do -do. Uh... But at the max level, at level 50, apparently says it's only 160. Which is, uh, it probably adds up to still being a fairly decent amount of damage. Um, my agility is, uh, sure, yeah. But even, like, my health, yeah, no, it's, uh, it pales in comparison. It's like, yeah, I'm sort of, kind of, past that curve already. Um, not sure if I'm there for the Prince, though, because, uh, his strength, like, doubles between level 30, like, 2? <laughs> 45? I don't know what's going on there. But he's not hitting anything in this fight. It's all gonna be just like, cast magic and don't die. Also, they didn't even write like, the guard stat here. Like, hold on, like, look at my stats. It's like, yeah, strength. Yeah, it's pretty on point, I guess. I've technically got less good, but... Yeah. 
231 attack, man. It all just adds up. That's a lot of experience as well. I swear I was like 100,000 down uh, when I started the stream. <laughs> But yeah, it's all about the MP. It's about having just too much or more of a leg up in the fight, I guess. I don't know, maybe I should just keep throwing myself at him. Because, like, I'm even at this point now where it's like, even these guys aren't too much of a threat. I'm dealing like 100 damage to the Gigantes. I can get Nana to actually deal damage with her attack. That's a whole Gigantes out in one turn from just raw attacks. Again, really doesn't mean anything for the final fight, but okay. So, okay, he said stop spell as well, which was, I guess, the one, um... One thing, so, yeah, so, fizzle, stop spell, neutralizes spells. What's the chance of stop spell working? Uh, the answer is... Will be fizzle? Dazzle, right? That's the... That's the, <laughs> the name of the spell. Ah, oh, I always get thrown off by the, um... What these spells are called in different games. Uh, no, that's Surround. Surround is Dazzle. It would be Fizzle, wouldn't it? Yeah. It doesn't work on it. You can't cast Stop Spell. 7 out of 7 resistance. Come on, guys. Now the GameFAQs guide is lying to me. When will they stop lying to me, I tell you. Also then PTSD because Melroth is uh, one of the legacy bosses in uh, Dragon Quest IX. And uh, he's, he's pretty up there. I think he actually is like one of the harshest like final bosses or super bosses in that game. Shout out! Shout out to uh to Dragon Quest IX for just having all these like oh yeah, yeah every single end boss from any other game. Yeah, it's really weird to have like no issue with the Gigantes anymore. Just like they're just there. Yeah. All right. Uh, how much experience am I at? Twenty-six, seven. I mean, I know I just got a level up there, so I'm plenty away from twenty-two hundred ninety thousand. Two twenty-nine should be at two forty, so maybe ten thousand away. And the princess is ages away because she barely gets any levels at this point. So is it like, because her max level is 35, and she's at 20, uh, 23, so, um, yeah, she's ages away. I mean, I might as well take another crack, and if not, then, I don't know, get another level for everyone, and have another go. Welcome to Wellin. <laughs> I feel like, with enough attempts, this will probably work out, but again, again, it's like, oh, oh, he hits hard. He's a heavy hip hitter. I can't believe it. Oh, nope, that's the antidote. You want step card every time. Every time I always use the wrong spell. It's not that long a dungeon, but uh. Yeah, it's, it's probably actually like a joke now. It would be cool though if I did manage to, you know, beat up a metal slime in the way. Oh, we gotta deal with the double magus. Did I not pay money at that, uh, supposed inn? I, I, I feel like I'm going a bit nuts because it's like, did that in not heal me? I mean, it sort of makes sense if that in doesn't heal you, but it's also like... It's like, oh, okay. I'm just gonna get wrecked by the Maguses instead of... Huh?
Hey, you can't use that. That's illegal. This is probably one of those fights you probably do want to run away from. We're gonna get into a revive loop. He's just always reviving each other. Experience all those guys, I guess. But yeah, uh, I'm going insane because, uh, yeah, no, where's my magic? Unless you drained it all just then. I could probably use the rings. You could buy more of those rings, can't you? Hopefully. Okay, alright, uh. Listen, I'm gonna go for him. <laughs> never mind. Never mind. It was ne- Can you revive him? Bring him back. Bring him back. I want him back. <laughs> well, that revive would have counted for some experience, wouldn't it then? If I gave me way more ex Sorry, the, not that one, but the, the one before with the double maguses where one of them revived. Yeah, we're at that point. My brain has turned into mush, and we're just like, yep, we gotta level up, we gotta walk through, we gotta fight. But yeah, there's a part of me that was like, oh, you know, like I'm almost there in terms of levels, and I only had one more mini boss to fight, which I took on pretty easily, and. Should be okay, but, uh. Yeah, nah, this, this final boss, I tell ya. Is the Relio Delio, apparently. Epic discuss. Oh! There's always epic discussions going on. It doesn't matter what time it is. It's always good, good discussions all around. Not providing cool commentary here. That's eh, all good. So less cool commentary and more just me throwing myself at the boss again and again and again. And then art taking more and more damage from Exploder every single time I look. I just need a like, tad bit more health so that he doesn't die in like one singular hit, but it's still kind of gnarly, anyways. Hey, that's illegal. You're not allowed to do that. He should be in a uh, heal mode, though, isn't he? A lunch and come back. <laughs> yeah, I'm having like mixed fun when it comes to fighting this guy. I swear. Well, not not this guy in particular, but like, yeah, like oh, when I when I do the final boss, it's like, oh. I just want him done, you know? You get like brick walled by by just some boss fight and you're like, ah. And yeah, the worst part is I have no better strategy. I I <laughs> I'm pretty much at that point. I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know what to say about him. Oh, he's gonna deal 130 damage to the character who's barely got 130 health. off again. So we can cast Revive and I guess i heal more on everyone and take another crack at it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So someone who knows tons about this game would probably go like, oh no, you're doing this all wrong, man. Because I know I've got the defense, and the, this guy was saying like, oh, you can parry, but it's like... 
actually like pretty gnarly because if you know if you cast uh okay so now i'm one down i need to cast one in, in response yeah it'd probably be okay to have the shield on everyone but i don't know Intense flame, it's like okay, so art's like taking like tons of damage. And he's still faster than everyone as well. It's like uh I can't deal with that. Um and I still gotta cast increase again because he uh dropped my health, so uh gonna have to do the heal more like that. Yeah, there we go. Get some more defense. Intense flame, this is starting to get very, very spicy. This will be a turn where everyone should have that healing on them, but uh, I can't, so. Okay, defense went down. We've, we've got maybe a saving turn. We've got maybe a saving turn. I don't know. Uh, this will be another increased reactionary turn. Actually, I wonder if um, you could keep having increase be used to bait him into using defense and dropping your defense. Okay. Uh. Just cast defense it down? I don't know. Nah, nah, it really doesn't matter at this point. He's also only attacking once, have you noticed? I'm a bit worried about that. Uh, so I might as well cast a heal and we'll try and do the surround? I don't know, maybe it'll be fun. I'm getting further, I guess, but that's probably, you know, famous last words right there. Um... But I am, like, faster than him, I've noticed. I'm actually moving faster. So we're getting there, maybe. Uh... No. Nope. We lost one. We lost one in the, in the, in the wreckage there. Alright, don't worry, I've still got enough for one more revive. This is actually like, I'm tensing now. I'm actually like... Really kind of tensing, I'm like, oh my gosh, this actually could be it, this could be the go. Oh, there's the, there's the, there's the haze in action right there! Very nice, very nice. Uh... Do I get Art to do it, or I keep him for? Oh, we'll, do it. we'll get no, we'll get Art to do it because he needs to. Yeah. Oh, that's a bit of a that's a bit of a dangerous angle, but uh, okay, we'll do the revive, I guess. Defense. Okay, that's fine. You can use your turn to cast defense. Oh my gosh, man, I'm, 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 I'm tense, man, I'm telling you, oh. You have returned. Oh, there's the intense flames, oh. Okay, so now we're at this point where, uh, Nana has, uh, two, two, <laughs> two magic. So, uh, she's sort of, uh, forced into, I have to cast Bolt and hope for the best. For like just an additional bit of damage. Oh, there goes Art. This is it. Oh! 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 We're good! We did it! Woo! Woo! Baby! Baby! <laughs> ah! A beautiful voice echoes everywhere. Sido, the agent of chaos, is no more. Peace will return. I will always watch over you. The gods of all life, let your light shine upon my progeny. 
bring my art back to life. Oh, God. Well, fortunately, no cost of that one. That was, uh, that was just like, man, I got kind of lucky on a lot of that. It sort of was about to bubble over at the end. But I got lucky. I got there in the end. Uh, so we're good. We're good. Uh, now, like all Dragon Quest tradition, uh, you get to walk home. You gotta, you gotta walk all the way back, and you get to find out, like, this whole, like, inner part of this island, and it's just this, like, worthless, just loop here, there's nothing to do, it <laughs> just, just dead ends, oh no, no, sorry, it keeps going. Oh, wait, sorry, that's a different route around, okay. <laughs> but yeah, ah, oh, that's good. There's actually, I believe one of the retro achievements is I gotta talk to, um, uh, the Dragon Lord's grandson. So you have to go back through that dungeon again. I might as well do that, it'll be good fun, but... Ah, Bundo, you have done a great thing! Now that the malevolent being has fallen, Roan will disappear. For so many years, now I have kept watching over the destiny of people. But that duty is coming to an end. It is time for me to see you off. By gods, I beg you to forever keep watching over the descendants of the legendary hero Lotto. Now go on, they are waiting for your return. A good heal, just in case. Bundo, Art, Nana, you have saved the world's people. Your names and your great quest will be passed down from this generation to the next and forever. Farewell. Except you're going to be called Erdrick in a lot of cases. Sorry, you're going to be called Erdrick. Comes with the turf, I guess. We even made the ground not kill you. What do you say? Youngsters, you have acquitted yourselves magnificently. The path to peace is never easy, but the very difficulty of that path may make you better appreciate the value of the peace that awaits. That's speaking maybe a little <laughs> on the wrong other side, but sure. Uh, oh, what do you say, my man? Kiki! Thank you. You're welcome. I'm not going to visit every single town on the way back, but I assume they've, you know, they, they put in a ton of dialogue for all these other places. Wavy. Woo. Excuse me, but have you just come back from defeating Hagen? I knew right away. The air feels pure and refreshing. It's proof that evil is no more. Your spirit of justice brought peace to the world. You are the real heroes. Yeah, but you still have, like, the dangerous floor in your house. Like, what's going on there, man? <laughs> you restored peace. Thank you. You're welcome. Bundo, I knew that you would succeed. I hope you... Uh, I hope you three will continue as one to protect the world. Now off you go to the king. He is sure to be waiting eagerly. That's effectively where you'll end the game if you talk to the king. Which we can do at the end, but we can keep talking to people. You restored peace. Thank you. I am amazed by like how much dialogue is just people saying thank you at the end. Here. You're extraordinary to defeat that evil Hagen. Thank you so much. I can't believe peace returned. Now we can go out without being attacked by monsters. Hooray! <laughs> Was it useful, the Thundersword? Nah. Is that so? You say weapons aren't what's important? Hmm, spoken like a true hero. Oh, okay. What if I say yes? Ooh. I wish I had one. <laughs> Fair enough. I wonder what happens if you never even picked up that sword. <laughs> and before the game's like, uh, you probably wouldn't have beaten Hagen, because it's like, eh, yeah, fair enough. It's not like most of the hidden stuff is like, so much. Like, there's not many of those items throughout the game to really pick up. Mostly right at the end. But, uh, I will say I did not win the lottery at all in this entire run. I used to hate that I was born in those terrible times, but I know now how lucky I am to be alive today. Thank you. Thank you, and now I can feel safe while I go about my business. It's incredible you beat the horrible Hogan, you must be really tall and awesome. Oh, is it possible? Are you the brave heroes who beat Hagen? That's inspiring. May I think of you as my masters? Hmm. I never knew like words like you even existed. I realize now that I must redouble my training. It's just dialogue everywhere, man. There's so much all over the place. 
Look, the heroes have returned. Welcome back to Baran. You don't even get a prompt to save anywhere as well, just remember that, so. Alright, well the boat's there, and obviously with the world at peace, there are no monsters anywhere, so. How about let's, uh, let's return to, um... Uh, how many towns do I go back to, just to kind of pad this out? I know there's like the shrine up there, but I'm just gonna dodge past that one. Let's go to the little tiny town, because I need to actually go see Dragon Lord's grandson for a moment. There's actually, I, I, I am missing a couple of personal ones for Dragon Quest 1 on this Game Boy Color, because there's like one where it's like, defeat the, um, the golem without using the flute. And then there's also one for like, once you rescue the princess from the, uh, from the dragon. You go, you go up to, to the Dragon Lord, and it's like, oh, hi. <laughs> you gotta do that with some real particular timing, though. Oh, I just realized as well, I could just sail right between these places, can't I? Very nice. I love that. So we can see what, uh, what these people say now. You finally defeated Hargan, I knew right away. This calm breeze, it's proof pieces back. I, I really wish I could tell that, like, the air was better. I never expre <laughs> expressed so much joy in this age. Thank the gods for your kindness. Oh, yeah. The gods smile upon the just. May the gods bless you. Thank you. In person, you restored peace. Thank you. It just—it's just nice to feel appreciated, you know. Um. Oh my gosh, they're reusing dialogue. Maybe I shouldn't actually be going around everywhere. Okay, maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> we'll go see Dragon Lord. Um. So yeah, so I guess uh, I have not been. Usually, I speak a bit more about the the strengths and the weaknesses of uh, the game. Oh, I gotta go to the. the place to get the boat again. Uh, usually I speak more about the strengths and weaknesses about a game, but I feel like this one is one um, more of the same of Dragon Quest 1, um, which granted being in a package like this, yeah, it makes sense. But also, um, definitely it's harsher. It's like the whole, the whole team party is great as like a balanced, you know, dynamic, because I feel like it makes the fights a lot more interesting that one character can die fairly easily if you're not paying attention to them, but, uh, give, um, you know, like, if you've got your party dynamic going on pretty well, it works out okay. Uh, but, yeah, when it comes to, uh, the actual, like, how do you defeat the end boss, it's like, oh, it's, it's such an uphill battle because there's not a lot to give your characters, really you know, the strengths. Never mind as well, also the characters are very set in stone, you obviously can't do that much with them, because they're all going to be literally equipping the same things as every other player, and they're going to learn the same spells as everyone. Um, Your toxic floor means nothing to me! Oh, as it says. Gosh, do I remember this dungeon? I think it was like the top left staircase, wasn't it, on the next floor. I was gonna say, how cool that they got the music from the first game, it's like, it's on the same cartridge, I don't know what I'm expecting. <laughs> I love the whole, like, the music does slow down as you get deeper and deeper, though. It's just, I don't know, it's good vibes. But yeah, I, in terms of presentation, though, I think this game is great. This game certainly has its bit. Um... Oh gosh, yeah, do I actually remember this dungeon at all? Uh, it's not this staircase, is it? It's, uh... The next one. Going down, I think. And we've got a tunnel floor. But no monsters, I guess. It makes it easy, so. Um, yeah. 
Uh, weirdly, this game, or rather a, a remade version of it, it exists on the Switch, but I don't know why it's not available in Australia. It's there in Europe. Um, <laughs> so, in theory, anyone can, you know, buy Dragon Quest 1, or 2, or 3. I wish the others were available in some capacity, like, um... And it's sad as well, because it's like, oh, you know, they finally remade Dragon Quest 7 and 8 on the 3DS, and they've got online versions, so they're available forever until... Where you guys see shop is closed and Dragon Quest 7 and 8 just don't exist anywhere. The port of uh, 7 is very curious. So we can chat to the Dragon Lord. Oh, Bundo, you've done well. You've delighted me, no end. Regardless of what happened in the past, I think we could be friends. From now on, I shall call you Kid Bundo. Feel free to call me Kid Draco. <laughs> just thank you. Thank you, my man. Thank you. This line of dialogue just there, just for that. So let's cast outside because. I'm not, I'm not walking back through that. Um, okay, let's go back to, um... Oh, I guess back to the castle, I guess. You could probably revel in the glory a bit more, but, uh, you know, you know we're, we're at the end of the game. We can end this today. Today, together. <laughs> I'm gonna awkwardly go around this continent. Actually, the best part as well is like, I could probably rock up at this town and we'll just see what the town says. It's not her castle, but it's uh, it's definitely a town. Argon is really gone. We're freed from this terror. Hooray, hooray! You are the real heroes. May you have even greater success. Thank you. Oh, I should see if I can talk to a jail person. I knew that you would succeed. You are simply magnificent. I hope that you will continue in your spirit of cooperation. It's like the guy who's like along this little... Like, yeah, no, no, this is... <laughs> where the wizard was, where the magus was. This guy is... Uh, you defeat the wicked Hagen? That is most impressive. Thank you. Um, but yeah, I... Uh... I guess in the grand scheme of JRPGs as well, because this came out in, what, 88? Maybe you were starting to see some really, really impressive uh, RPGs in other places. I feel like Final Fantasy 2... Oh, Final Fantasy 2 is a bit of a weird one as well. Um, what are some other ones as well? Ultima is kind of doing alright. Um, oh, I could probably walk the rest now, I think about it, because I can just go through the tunnel. Yeah. Um... I don't really know my other JRPGs though, so I guess usually I like critiquing like, oh, there's this game and it comes out in this kind of zeitgeist, but <sighs> honestly, like, my knowledge of 80s games is actually rather weak. I don't play a lot of 80s games, I know. I play a lot of, like, 90s ones in retro uh, land, but when it comes to, like, 80s stuff, I don't know, I don't play as many of them, maybe I should. Um... Now we must navigate our way through this dungeon. Pretty sure this one was very straightforward, was it not? It was just, it was just a straight line. There we go. It wasn't that. Bad. Oh, <laughs> it wasn't that bad apart from exiting the wrong way. Hey guys, you gonna let me out? Ah, Prince Bindo, we salute your magnificent feet. Please go right through. Thank you. Let's say hi to the castle, why not? How are you doing? Welcome back to Canic Castle, the king is waiting for you! Oh, this king? You're extraordinary to defeat that evil Hagen, thank you so much! Where's this guy going? I knew that you would succeed, you are simply magnificent, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I guess there's only so much I can say. Hello there, King. How are you doing? The blood descendants of Lotto joined hands and restored peace. There could be no greater joy. My son, Art, you have done well. Now escort Bundo back to Laurasia. You're in the wrong castle! <laughs> you know, the princess is just like... You know... No house, no home. Hey, she, she's, she's a hero. She could fit in anywhere. I guess. It's always a thing where it's like JRPGs, sometimes, you know, some characters have some tragic backstory and it's like, oh, They got better. Their, their spirit and determination got them through. 
I guess that's the joy of an RPG, though, is that it gets you feeling like you did something amazing. You're part of the story. You could cynically say, oh, but it's a game. Like, obviously, you know, play it enough, you'll win. But it's, you know what I mean? It's like, there's this idea of having a challenge that you overcome. And that's kind of what, like, all JRPGs really get. You'd be wasting your good fortune if you don't play the slots. <laughs> I saved the world! You can, you're not gonna give me a free spin? I don't know about the slot machine, man, I'll tell ya. It must be really tough. I am glancing through a lot of this dialogue, I apologize as well, but, uh... We're almost home. We're almost back home. And yeah, I guess, like, that is, you know, the end of this particular cartridge. Because there's not really a lot more, like, I don't feel like I've really not shown a thing. I feel like I've, I've shown basically everything there is in these two games, at least. Um, this one I sort of dreaded more, though, because it's just like, I knew that end was, like, such an intense curve. And it did kind of, like, you know, really, really hold the, like, most of the, most of the streams was just there. But, oh well. So, here we are. The final, the end of the game. The finale, the end of the game. Oh, those my stats. Prince Bundo, my son and blood descendant of Lotto. The hero. I am proud that I have you as my son. You have been magnificent. I feel that a new age is finally about to start. Prince Bundo, I will now confer you my crown. Do you agree to be the new king? Nah. Don't shirk. Do you agree to be the new king? Nah. Don't shirk. <laughs> fine, fine. It's persistent. Excellent, a wise decision. All of you, you are my witnesses. You have just seen the ascendance of the new king of Laurasia, Prince Art, Princess Nana. Please, step forward. I like how you can become king without like any like marriage. The three of you remain strong together to protect the peace. Hail the new king. Hail King Bundo. I mean, I kind of want to be like God Emperor of the Universe, but King's alright too. Stepping stones, you know? And they got fireworks. How- fireworks are like ancient technology, aren't they? I, I always love that it's like something that like, you know, still impresses us to this day. Although drone shows are really trying to like steal the spotlight. I don't know how long they'll last because a good firework is a good firework. You can do some real magic with those things. Well, yeah, uh, certainly a lot more of a challenge, but definitely, you know, I got there. I got there in the end. And I didn't grind to level 45 or whatever, like that one person said. Well, I was above the other guy's level, so I was... Yeah, no, it was, it was, it was an alright time. Just a bit of a grind. So what's next in store? I've got a couple of other games uh, queued up. Um, I think I'm probably going to play Metroid Prime 2 after that GameCube rollout happens as well. And thus the young heirs of Lotto's blood again restored peace. Because technically you were Lotto in the first game. Prince Art, Princess Nana, and King Bundo will be forever known as legends. And there we go! We did it! Credits music. Do you remember this wonderful adventure? Because it's been six weeks, it's like, man, this, <laughs> this one was a bit of a longer one, but... Yeah, it's a dark RPG. That's all, that's all expected. I do like the, the, the dungeon design in this one. I actually, I, it's kind of charming in its own way. Albeit a little bit mean. Given that, like, you got a toy with the enemies just being a bit too tough at times. Again, you know, you'll find such a much better balance in Dragon Quest 3. Where it's like, oh my gosh. Breath of fresh air, they really, really got it right. 
but yeah. Uh, so I'll do Metroid Prime 2 at some point, because I really, really would like to do that one. But I've got a couple of other ones to pad out the time in the meanwhile. Um, and some really curious ones that... Uh, some of them are from the childhood, and some of them are just... You know, they're great. They're amazing games. Oh, they weren't Square, remember that? They were just Enix at this time. When was the Square acquisition? That was 2004? I feel like I asked this in a previous stream. <laughs> You telling me I went a whole stream and I didn't talk about Intel CPUs or other kind of technology things? That's right. I'm not jinxing it here. This, this doesn't count. This is meta discussion. <laughs> Dude, it must be insane having to be a playtester for a JRPG. Like, you've just got to, like, have, like, such, like, good knowledge about how the whole game works and or have the ability to inject in, like, proper saves. Which is probably likely. It's probably, it's probably the case. Especially because, like, when you're playtesting, it's like they're going to change bits of the game here and there. So it's like you don't want to be, like, passing. It's like, oh, I'm going to save again. I'm going to start the game again and work my way back up to that point. This is a fun font. I like this font very much. Oh, that was the rabid dog I, like, slayed. Whoops. And there's more playtesters. They're everywhere. I don't know if I was the only one, but, like, every time you'd, like, play, like, a Mario game, or even, like, most Nintendo games, and you'd see Super Mario Club in the credits, and you think, oh, this is some, like, exclusive club, and they get to play these games early, it's like, no, they get to playtest them. Like, maybe it's, like, an actual, like, insanely good playtest studio, and they just, like, they just... They get real rough versions at times. Or, uh, I don't know if they get real rough versions. Like, there's no point getting players to playtest a thing that you know is really, really wrong. But yeah, yeah, it's like, it's like, they're not playing... They're not playing the game before other people. They are playing a rougher version of the game <laughs> that other people will not witness. It's like, I mean... If you want to, like, understand what it feels like, imagine, like, first versions of early access games that you play. Sometimes, they're actually really good, and sometimes it's like, man, they're just missing stuff. They're just trying to get feedback real early, and that's fine. It's just weird in an early access context, because you paid your money already. The end. There we go. But yeah, that's that's Dragon Quest 2, Dragon Warrior 2 on the cartridge on the Game Boy Color, Dragon Warrior 1 plus 2. Uh, we did it, boys. It's it was it was a fair bit of time coming, and it was certainly a gutsy call for me to go. Hmm. We, we saved Laurasia. Yes, it was a gutsy call for me to add finale to the name of the stream, but. <laughs> Got there, got there. So, anyways, with that, I would like to thank you so very, very much for watching. If you enjoyed this stream, if you enjoyed all the other streams, or any any of the games before, you can follow on Twitch. Uh, not you, Fetty. You already followed. <laughs> uh, where, uh, yeah, I'll stream every 8:30 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard um, on Monday. And uh, if you miss parts of this, Twitch deletes the vods every week. But don't worry, they're on YouTube within like a day or so because the YouTube upload like the uploads quick but the processing takes forever um, and yeah you can see all the old, all the old stuff and you can also see all the cringe old stuff that I did before I even started streaming if you really really want to go back that far but um nah it should be alright yeah and uh yeah I, I plugged it like a few times but yeah follow me on um Pluroma or Fediverse or whatever uh m.bn.com you'll find me I'll say some stupid things from time to time and talk about stupid technology when it comes out soon but not before not before that the fetty verse it's not the fetty verse it's the the fetty verse but uh, you, you could make your own and it would be the fetty verse that'd be a good one so anyway stay safe everyone eat your greens don't stay up too late and uh play this game it's good fun so anyways peace everyone